go. You got to <laughs> fucking go. You got the rhyme? Hell yeah. I bet. Full power, fight through the dizziness. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast, episode 76. I'm your host, Malcolm. I'm here with my boys. C Duplicity going for the victory. That's crazy because this nigga took an L before the pod. We'll talk about it in a sec. <laughs> I'll dunk on you. <laughs> yeah, that's that. End of story. Go ahead, Vic. It's your boy, Big Goof. Gang, gang. It's Vermillion, everybody. What's up? What up, what up? How y'all feeling today, man? Hey, man, I'm chilling. We're having a good time. Y'all cooling? Over here relaxing. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little dizzy. That's tough. For the fans who don't know, I'm going to go ahead and explain. Before the podcast, you know, we just be fucking around, kicking our shit, having fun, whatever. For some reason, I don't know how we got on the topic, but we started to talk about dizzy races that me and Chris used to have back in fifth grade. We used to spin around for a certain period of time and then just race and see who could get to the finish line first. We ended up looking that up on the TV, looking at it, and Vic said, that doesn't look that hard. To <laughs> us, that's a challenge. So yes, it's, sir. it's midnight. I don't even know what time it was. But nigga said, fuck it. We got out. We went to the park down the street. And we did some dizzy races. We let Vic pick who his opponent was. Who did you pick, Vic? Thomas. The one and only Vermillion. He chose Vermillion. Round one, Vermilly versus Vic. Who was the winner? Chris, what did you see on your end? On, on the, my uh, end, it was a, it was a overbearing defeat. I'm not going to lie. Vic got really dizzy. <laughs> and ran off Damn. into the wrong direction. I couldn't walk straight to save my life. Yeah, Damn. nigga was struggling. You could have offered me a, mil- a million dollars to run straight. I couldn't Jesus make it, Christ. bro. God damn. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Hey, man. Vermilly took round one, headed to the finals. Because they raced, only two of us left. That left me and Chris the match from the death match from fifth grade. Grudge match. The grudge match from fifth. I couldn't think of the word. The grudge <laughs> match from fifth grade. We ran it up. I think y'all already knew what the vibes was, you know. Yeah. C2 bodied this nigga. Yeah. All right. On no. opposite day, I'm sorry. On opposite day. <laughs> no. Damn. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had to I had to give him a little free smoke. I had to give him a little it deep purple. That. I got dizzy. And you can't. It's 12 o'clock. You really can't see where you're running. Yeah, it was tough. So it Fair. was really just me running completely. I might as well have been blindfolded. Like you, <laughs> you might as well have done that. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, I was that's blind. Facts. Just sprinting. But running wasn't even the hard part. It was stopping. Stopping was hard, but like, running was difficult also. Like getting running up straight was tough. But then the match that we had all been waiting for. The finals came up. Now, these weren't like the other rounds. The other rounds, we spun for 20 seconds, got the spin. <laughs> this round. Chris had us spinning for a year and a half. <laughs> Bruh. Nigga, I'm still spinning. 30 seconds. Ah, I still might be spinning, bro. It was 30 seconds. Before the spinning was even enough, over, bro, you I was dizzy, bro. It like, was 30 seconds. Should have given them a minute. Nigga, it was. Hell no. It was. No, I mean, yeah. it, it, trust me. No. It felt like a minute, bro. Y'all could wild out. It was 30 seconds. After my first hundred rotations around the sun, I was I was losing it. Yeah. I heard 10 seconds left. I was like, oh shit. Like, (laughs) I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to start running. He said, go. I said, I just squinted my eyes, was looking for the flashlight on the other side, just gave it everything I had. But I started, I thought I was gonna lose it. I started slowing down at the end, but alas, I was the victor. Uh, well, you know, unfortunately for me, took a dive left. <laughs> that was – the race started, and I heard his footsteps dart to the left of me. And I got nervous that I was going the wrong way. Like, I second-guessed myself for a second. <laughs> but I saw the light, and I was like, I am pretty sure this is it. I'm going to just keep going. But I was nervous. That second round of spins just got to me, unfortunately. Bro, after probably like 15 seconds – I was even my spins were getting disoriented. Yeah. Like I started like rocking around in my spins. Like she was tough, man. She was tough. Thank God it's over. Yep. But y'all already know I'm the dizzy race king. It is what it is. I feel like all that would have been worthless if I didn't win. You love being it was the so king. worthless. It was so <laughs> at least you was, <laughs> was, so, was honest so about worthless. it, man. At I least you was up honest. It was hot. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yo, like, what the fuck did I walk out here for? Hey, man. 
We'll all have our day. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. Now we just got to play Foursquare. I'm going to cook these niggas in Foursquare. They not ready for it. No. I'm not, not worried about that. We're going to bust out like an Xbox 360, get the blur going. Ah, oh, cook these niggas nah, in blur. He's going to lose. He's going to be so tight. I'm going to play one know. game. I'm going to win and never play him again. <laughs> and niggas going to be sick. It's crazy cold. that you would mention that because this has to deal with my little announcement for um, Naruto Storm 4. Oh, you have an announcement to make. Yeah, so... Okay. Uh, I'm going to be holding a tournament um, very soon, September 4th, I think. That's the first Friday of September. I am officially going to be retiring from the game, so I'm offering a $100 cash prize to the person who can beat me, and there will be a separate tournament bracket run so we can see who can win some studio time and a separate $50 cash award because I want to go out as the GOAT and the greatest Why to ever do it. Why are you going out? Because I – the game is, is pretty a, much is done. A yeah, it's a dead game. But why would that mean just go out forever? Yeah, never play it again. Never play. Just, just wait until the hold new the come title. Out. Like Michael Jordan, never playing in the NBA again. Yeah, like he could have kept on playing. Well, he did keep on playing basketball for yeah. a little while, and he but fucked like, it up. He fucked it up. Yeah, he did fuck it up. He should have quit in his prime. Yeah, which is what I'm trying to well, do. Which he did, but then he came back. Quitting in your prime on some like non physical shit is lame as fuck. No, like on some physical shit, it makes sense because your body. Deteriorates and gets tired, nigga. Your fingers are fine. No, nah, we'll see. Well, is your I, is your brain getting weaker? No, nah, I'm cool. So no, it's just like, why? Do you, you still have fun playing it? Yeah, no, it's a fun game. But so it's not like you just. But there's no reason to put cycle. any effort into that game anymore. So you're just scared to lose. You're no, trying to end it up. The, the life so cycle. You just won't lose. It, it sounds like you really want to win this money. Go ahead, enter the tournament. See if you can get a shot at it. I promise <laughs> I'll you, play you, you won't get it. I'll play. Hey, look, I've said on the podcast multiple times, Thomas, as we know, is a better Ninja Storm player than me. But this is the public announcement. Um, you know, everybody be prepared. You have a chance to win some shit. And you have a chance to dethrone me. Because if you win and take everything, I'm still not going to be playing again. Because the cycle of the game has ended. And I want to, you know, have some finality to everything. So, okay, interesting. It sounds like a uh, sounds like a fun time. I'll yeah. enter. You already know. Like, I'll give it a go. Yeah, okay. I've taken so. you down before. Take you down again. Right, and you. Everybody has a shot. Yeah, I've beat so you. So is a it good like one time. round, or do I have to place so you it, in a series of three? I'm gonna work out all the details and have them all finalized NCAA by tomorrow night. NCAA style, or are we it, doing like full NBA? Four game series. It's like. gonna be three game, three matches, and then that'll decide best two of three. Okay. So, okay. One game won't automatically mean you're out, but this also means <laughs> was, no double elimination too. So once you're out, you're done. So there's no loser bracket. No loser bracket. What if I win the studio time? Can I just trade that for real money? I, I don't. <laughs> we'd have to talk separately. <laughs> <laughs> Could I just like? Yeah, if I went to the studio time, I'm like, yeah, I'm never going to use that. So it's up, <laughs> up cash. Facts, facts. <laughs> I was like, yo. Uh, let's get into our weeks. How y'all niggas been this week, man? Man, chilling. I've been trying to stay more frugal, like spend less money and see how effectively it affects my life. Has it affected your life positively? Yeah. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear your pocket's nice. Yeah, it's more about like... I know in certain moments I can get something that I want, but, like, having the restraint to I feel not, that. like, just buy something because I can. Yeah, I don't buy that much shit. Like, I just do my best not to spend money because that yeah. shit fucking sucks. Yeah. Seeing what you been on, Vic? Okay. <sighs> I just had to breathe. Um, I was good, bro. I got, I went back to school. Nice. Shit was smacking. Um, got my car fixed. Gang, pockets been hurting, but It'd be uh, like that. I fucking, I tried to fix it on Saturday. Took it to the mechanic. They did some work, charged me, and then Monday I'm like, "Yo, bet." So I go to turn that bitch on. Doesn't turn on, so I'm like, "Fuck." So then, you took some bum ass mechanic. <laughs> I take it. I just go get a new battery and ended up fixing it, but. My car is running now, so that's great. So what did you pay them for? Uh, they swapped out, like, some fluids and shit. Oh, word. And all that shit. But, you know, they tr- they charge up the ass for the uh, service. Very factual. For the labor. Yeah. More than the product. But, yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Gang, gang. What about you, Millie? What you been on, sir? 
Shit, I've been grinding out the music, man. Shout out to all the artists. Um, you know, did a little interview with Ja Dam. Or not interview, I'm sorry. Ja Dam was featured on a separate podcast, the regular show podcast. And they paying us I was for that recording. ad placement? Yeah. I was just playing. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be paying me. Shout out to Isaac. Um, <laughs> Ding. <laughs> But yeah, uh, cool little show they did. Um, hopefully, they got some more on the way. That's what's up. Um, Your podcast than, better than ours? Wow! Put a nigga on the spot. <laughs> I, you know I gotta rep the gang. I, I gotta. You rep already the, know the I vibes. The Y'all heard it here first. The Storm Podcast. Yeah. Um, but shit. Other than that, man, that's that's about it. Just working and finalizing some plans and shit, making more beats. Getting back into producing. That's about it. That's what's up. Sounds like y'all had some pretty exciting weeks, man. Yeah. Sounds very lit. Sounds yeah. very lit. How was your week? It was pretty good. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I started the week off by cutting my own hair. Shit, shit decent. Damn. It's decent. It's not perfect. That's decent. You cut it yourself? Like, yeah. did you buy clippers? I bought clippers and cut it myself. Yeah. It's not bad. I've been wanting to try it for a while, and... I saw Thomas cut his shit. I was like, he did a pretty good job. I can do a good job, too. Like, hmm. fuck it. And I was supposed to get my hair cut by Vic, but some shit came up. Like, my whole week ended up getting, like, derailed. And I was going on a trip the next day. So I was like, fuck it. I can't go on this trip bogus or my girlfriend's going to kill me. <laughs> so I was like, let's get it. Got some clippers. Opened up YouTube. Looked in the mirror. I'm like, fuck it. Let's go. And I just... Got to doing my shit. You use guards on everything? Huh? You use guards? No, sir. Oh. Hey, man. You're playing a risky game, my friend. I'm an artist, though. Shit. You know, like, <laughs> if I could paint a picture, if I could design a shirt. So how'd you cut it? Like, what was the? What were your steps? Well. Was it, like, a, a clipper with the lever? Yeah. To open and close? Yes, sir. Damn. So I looked in the mirror, picked my shit out, looked at it. Question myself a couple times. <laughs> Turn that shit on. Felt a little more powerful than I expected. Was like, fuck it. Just looked in the mirror and got to, got to doing that shit. I used guards on the, like, fade a little bit. Like, you know, first I went around, did the line in. Then I just hit the little outside edge with, it, you know, just flat. Got the, all the way down to the skin. Put a little uh, half inch on that bitch. Or not a half inch, just a half. Got to hit that, do a one on it, hit that, do a two on it, hit that. And then I just did the rest with the clean one and just lined that bitch up with my eyes. That's not going to lie, back was pretty fucking tough. Yeah. It came out decent, though. So See, the back was tough because I didn't have a hand. Bogus. Dog, I didn't have a hand mirror. So I had a whole full-size mirror, Wait, and I was holding it. To another mirror. So I'm holding a full size mirror in one hand with the like the bathroom mirror in the back, trying to just do this shit. My arm tired as shit. I'm holding like I'm talking this mirror is as tall as me, nigga. Like and Why I'm you just find I didn't have a hand mirror. Let me and I tried back. to use my <laughs> iPad, but my iPad died like instantly. So I was like, doo doo. I'm like, fuck. You don't want to wait? <laughs> I'm an impatient nigga, uh. bro. And, like, the, the top, everything else came out so good. I was in my zone. I didn't want to lose the momentum. So I was like, okay. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just. So I'm holding up a whole mirror trying to get them back. Bro, I feel dumb as shit. <laughs> but I was like, fuck it. I got to oh, get it done. Uh. It came out pretty decent. I'll probably be doing it more often. Like, it was fun. It, yeah. If Where I get. Did you buy the Clippers? Or I was did you just Walmart? I just went to Walmart. Oh. It was, how how much was it, if you mind me asking? Because I've definitely been thinking about cutting my own hair. It's decent. Like, it's it's fun. Because I know I was like I know I could do my lining. I was like I know I could like I got to cut my shit. I got the same feeling from cutting my hair that I get when I like design like almost gear when I paint shit. Like it just felt like doing art. Yeah. Like it felt like doing art like any other day. Like I naturally have steady hands because I can paint and I can draw with like pencils and shit. Like. Only thing is, like, ain't no eraser. Yeah, like, hell yeah. Ain't no undo button. Like, yeah. Once you do this shit, you do this shit. I think my whole problem is I don't really have steady hands. 
but I just have to focus. You have some shaking ass hands. (laughs) Like from all the people that I know in my life, (laughs) Chris had Chris be looking like Doctor Strange. (laughs) My hands get to Chris be in that bitch. Hands get to shaking. I'll be like, bro, what you doing jazz hands for? No, I ain't take my vitamins. I'm like, (laughs) yeah, nigga, if I don't take my vitamins, if I didn't eat right. My body, like, I don't have full control. <laughs> Nigga, just be body. jazz hands all day. Like, I'll be yeah. jittery. I'll be like, ugh. I'll be too up. Yeah. If I have any sugar, nigga, that, that is right what it have. My hands get to. <laughs> Damn. I, I can't do none of that. Nigga be struggling, man. But it, it was fun. It was a fun time. Enjoyed it. Cut my hair for, uh. But I, I think it came out pretty good. Wait, Vic. Rate it out of 10. What would you give him? It's It's a little old. I cut it on. What day was I supposed to go with you? Sunday? So I cut it on Sunday. Sunday, So it's, yeah. it's a little old. It's, it's got a week. It got a little time to grow out, but I think it looks pretty good. It's a seven. It's all right. I mean, first time cutting hair, I'll take it. I'd rate it like an eight, but I mean, I'm biased. Wow. I'm biased. <laughs> Niggas, man. Of course, of course. The like, beard, I bodied the beard. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, he said, I, I bodied the beard. It, it grew in because it's been like a week. But when I first did it, my shit was crispy. <laughs> that nigga was, you know, he was talking your shit. Bro, that shit was crisp like I was C2. But uh, anyway, wow. that shit was hard. Corny. <laughs> anyway, cut my hair because I was going on vacation with my girlfriend um, for her birthday. Nothing crazy. Like, niggas was still quarantined and this shit. Um, we went to a place called The Sybaris for all y'all motherfuckers who've been asking. Sign up on my Snap. Sign up on Instagram. Like, I'm talking like 30 niggas asking, what's that? What's that called? Where you at? Motherfuckers I ain't never spoke to in my Whoa, lifetime, bro. Telly look bossing. Where you at? Bro. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm saying. But it was a fun little resort. Like, was it like a hotel type spot or like? So it was interesting. I thought it was going to be like a hotel building type of situation. But the reason my girlfriend picked it was because it was still like quarantine-ish. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a gated community. And they each have their individual, like, buildings. So Yo, it's like a small, fire. like, one-floor type shit. Like, sounds fire. It, it was lit. And uh, no more than two people allowed in the room. It's like a couple's thing. Oh. Yeah. So you came in. There was, like, a bed. You bed. thinking about it? one of plot. Hey, man. <laughs> I, I recommend it. But you came in. On the left side, there was, like, the bed, the TV, Right side were like the bathrooms, microwave, fridge, like all that shit. Mm-hmm. But then like there's like this big glass wall that you can see through. I guess it's a window. Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. A glass wall. <laughs> <laughs> a window. Huh. Uh, but yeah, open that up, go through or look through because it is a window. Um, we had like a little pool, not too deep. It was like five feet deep. Uh, but there was a hot tub connected to the pool. Uh there was a sauna, like, also connected in, like, a sauna and shower. And, like, all that was in, like, the other room. There was also, like, surround sound speakers everywhere. Yeah. So, like, I connected to the Bluetooth, and it, like, played throughout the entire shit. Like, in the pool room area and the other room area. So, I was busting off the music. Like, shit was lit. Super fun time. There was, like, a waterfall that, like, came down, like, into the shit. Hot tub was lit. Pool was lit. Like, I had a super fun time like shit was amazing there was like a tv like in there also we really watched the tv like we was just listening to music cooling in the pool swimming hot tubbing you know it shit was fun super fun time highly recommend it sounds fun sounds like everything went swimmingly boo but fuck y'all niggas anyway <laughs> That was too corny, bro. Fuck y'all niggas, terrible, man. bro. Nasty. But it was fun. If he, if he pulled the joke, you know you would be on his ass. Yeah, you're Fast. right. You're right. <laughs> you but no, nah, it, like, it did go swimmingly. Like, it was fun. I'm not going to lie. They had, like, little doves on the bed, like, in, like, uh, the shape of, um, like. Doves. They, no, they weren't doves. <laughs> <laughs> they were towels <laughs> on the bed. <laughs> the shape as doves. doves. <laughs> like, in the shape of a heart, there were, like, rose petals on the bed. They had a bottle of I don't drink, so it wasn't champagne. My girlfriend bought a bottle of champagne for her because, you know, she's turned 21. It's not like that matters. But you know what I'm saying. Like, she brought a bottle of champagne for herself. They had a bottle of cider because a nigga don't drink. But I'm in the pool. With the cider feeling like a boss. Got the bottle of cider. (laughs) No, my girlfriend was like, you think you Rick Ross or something, huh? Because I'm cooling. I'm eating. We ordered Cheesecake Factory. Nigga in the pool with some... Uh, cider got Man. the tater tots like 
Got the music on. Like, <laughs> I'm in this bitch cooling, living my best life, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, I was having a fucking blast. Like, we had a lot of fun. It was just a super fun time kicking it with my girlfriend and shit. Like, really enjoyed it. I'm talking like 10 out of 10. Would recommend, like, you and Brittany wanted to go slide. Shit was definitely a fun time. Sounds fun. We didn't even get the best one. Like, the, there are other ones, like, in the same spot that are lit. Like, there's, like, a two-floor you dig. Like, two-floor you dig. Bro, two-floor. <laughs> Peaked his attention. Bro, two-floor. <laughs> top a floor couple? For a couple. Oh, God, there was also damn. a massage chair in that bitch. Um, two-floor. <laughs> you said a massage chair? I got a bad back. Top floor. Got the, got the bed. <laughs> I got a bad back. No, nah, real talk. You got a bad back. The bed wasn't busting, though. Oh. The bed was, like. Semi uncomfortable. Right. No, you the just ruined the entire feature. place for me. It's not though. The bed was not. It was like the least important part of the whole. Thing. Uh, hell no. Yeah, no. Hell no. Me. It you wasn't horrible, back. but you it wake just up like can't even use the pool. <laughs> I'll be tight. That's what the hot tub for though. My, so my... <laughs> they got hot in the hot <laughs> tub. Relieved everything. All the stress out the back gone. But the two floor you did got the whole bed in that bitch. It's got another hot tub like next to the bed. Uh, it's got two massage chairs, so y'all can massage chair together. Then it's got a slide that goes down into the other bigger pool, like that. Also got the hot tub is on. Like the two floor you dig seem. It got a whole garage like that you pull your car into. What? Like we had to park our car like outside in front of that bitch. Like that shit was like the lap of luxury, nigga. Like that shit looked <laughs> lit. <laughs> what? That shit has to be like a rack, dude. Now nah, my shit was decent. Like it was fun as fuck. God though. damn. Like, I had so much fun. I would definitely go back. Like, 10 out of 10 would recommend for, like, you and your girlfriend. Or, I mean, shit, if a nigga just want to go by himself, like. <laughs> you got to be lonely as hell. If that's your shit, go ahead. Bring yeah. a homie with yeah. you. What? Yeah, go hell ahead. No. Keep with <laughs> just, hell no. just let them know. Be <laughs> like, yo, like, we don't yo, want the roses. Uh, we don't want the doves. Like, I was to take the champagne. Uh, can we also get a sleeping bag, maybe? Like. You got air mattresses? Real talk, though. <laughs> like, if we would have brought... I told my girlfriend, if we would have brought, like, a floaty with us, like, I would have slept on that bitch, bro. Like, the bed was that bad? No, like, the pool was that comfortable. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm nigga, damn. <laughs> the bed so fucked up. You like, yeah, I would have slept on a pool floaty. I said that before I even slept in the bed. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you said the shit on... What did they have as a bed there? And you sleep in the pool? Bro, it was that I was cooling, bro. Cause I was, I know how to float. I'm just laying on my back, like just floating in that bitch, listening to music, bro. Like floating in a pool, listening to some good music with the surround sound speakers, bro. Like I was getting lost. Like I'm in that bitch. I'm a run it up. I'm a disappear. I'm a, like I was in that bitch, wow. floating, nigga. Like literally floating. Shit was fun as fuck, bro. But that shit low key put a different type of fire in me because I'm like, yo, I gotta make it so I can just do uh, this shit all the time. How expensive? Like one out of ten. Like ten being like, bro, pockets be hurting, nigga, but hurting, hurting. Nigga, it was expensive. That Damn. Just like Google. Let me get a <laughs> like. Let me get a golf range. Nah. Like you don't need. You don't like. I don't wear the green. At. One out of like, ten out like, of expensive. Let, ah. Let's say the green is a thousand dollars. I'm not going to get into the, the price. Tur- like, Anybody listening to this, y'all niggas got computers. So go ahead. Look it up. But uh, yeah, it was, it was expensive. It was but <laughs> it, was, it, it was fun. I had a great time. Nigga, the Cheesecake Factory was damn near. We had to get that shit delivered, nigga. That shit was expensive as fuck, bro. Getting Cheesecake Factory delivered, bro. That sound expensive. That cheesecake was good. Bro, nigga, I got the Cinnabon Cheesecake. That shit sound yeah, nigga, that shit was different, bro. Like, I'm t- when I tell you I was living my best life, like, nigga, I was cool. Bro, I don't even remember the last time I had like a piece of cheesecake, bro. Bro, go ahead, get the, that. What you call it? Cheesecake Factory. The um cheesecake contest. Yeah, that yeah. was probably the last time I've had a piece of cheesecake. Shit was fun, man. So, I recommend you and Britt. Y'all will probably have a good time there. Y'all seem like some silly motherfuckers, like. Yeah. I was lit. Like, I was making trillers and that. Like yeah, anybody who got my Instagram, I was time. lit on them yeah, trillers, bro. Fun. Baby, I look good. But I look it, handsome. Is that all 
they offer like just the hotel room. You fuck you mean? Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but like, but like, was, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But I'm I'm not just trying to like chill in a hotel room like for three days or yes, some you shit. Are. <laughs> what, uh, what else yes, are you, you doing are. right now? Go Vic? out like. Yes, you are. You going to the bars I right now, know. Vic? And you like, ain't shit else to do. There's nothing else to do. Well, trust me. Once you get in that, po- like, I mean, you don't have a girlfriend. But like, I'm not trying to put you on blast. Yo, Vic single. Hit him right, up, y'all. He's, he's spitting facts. Yeah, hit him. Hit him up. Yeah, hit up, Big O. <laughs> but just spending time together in a pool, like we listen to music, we cooling, we making jokes, like we making trailers, like having fun, like it. I honestly felt like that shit wasn't even enough time. Like, Damn. like I'd still be in that bitch right now if I could. But you know, I gotta come to the party. Right, so, right, you know, right. The, the, the duties, boys, duties. shit costs money. I, I mean, real talk, y'all could have just pulled up with the whip. Nah. We could have done the pod in the car. Like, uh, only resort I'm going to is accompanied with fire and brimstone. Nah, they had a sauna too. That's lit. That's what. <laughs> he said, "Oh shit!" That's what. Got the fire and brimstone you're looking for. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, "Shit, I." Right. Nah, yeah, but shit was fun, man. You and Britt should go have a good time, man. It's just fun kicking it with your girlfriend, man. Like doing fun shit fun. with your girlfriend. It's always fun, niggas. I was doing cannonballs and shit. Like she was getting mad because I was just splashing her. Hell like, yeah, <laughs> back to you back. You already know. No, like I'm talking. Like, I'm be acting a damn fool, nigga. <laughs> I was gonna be mad. I walked in that bitch, looked around real quick, went straight into the pool room. She walked in. I was like, "How deep do you think that is?" She, cause like there's no like nothing that reads it. And I was like, "I don't know." Like, time to find. We out. walked back in. Instantly took the shirt off, took the pants off, just underwear, nigga. Like, <laughs> kicked the shoes off and just sploosh. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's good. It's like, it's good. like yo, it's decent. Yeah, it's like, I was like, it's just like, why would you even I didn't even get that? a chance to put the swim trunks on. Like, I was just like, fuck it. This is about to be live, bro. Not going to lie, <laughs> swim trunks did not fit, bro. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> You hate to hear it. You and I was sad, bro. <laughs> we went swim trunk shopping like the couple of days before because like I ain't had no new swim trunks in a minute. Like yeah. my shit got sharks on them and shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "No, nah, you're not about to wear those. Like you look like a child." <laughs> I was like, "All right, fuck it." She said, shit Why got she did shark she sharks, bro? Uh, nah, sharks man. go dummy, bro. I like, I, I like them, but you know, they, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, they did look kind of childish. Big the new ones I got were lit, but we went to Target get some swim trunks. <laughs> he is having a ball over Chris there. Is a blast. I just imagine like you and a pair of swim trucks and then bitches got cartoon trucks. <laughs> she was like, no, no, nigga, yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't with it, bro. You, she was you not just with it. standing there lost. Bro, <laughs> like, she wasn't with hilarious. it. She was not with it. Bruce from Finding Nemo on the show. Bro, so, <laughs> she like, come y'all on, niggas bro. Think I'm a child, child. <laughs> but no, nah, we went to um, we went to Target to get some swim trunks. I found some dope ones. But they weren't in my size. And she was like, there was a smarter. She was like, you could just get a small. I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm not fitting that small. Like, I'm skinny, but there's no chance I fit the small. Like, whatever. They only had a large. And I was like, damn, like, that shit's sad. I'd rather go too big than go None of the big. other mediums were lit. So we were like, fuck it. Let's go to another Target. They had the mediums in that bitch. And the ones I wanted, I was like, I'm about to be clean. <laughs> Instantly got in that bitch. Put them bitches on. Shit was not lit, bro. Like, them bitches was clenching around my thighs, my butt. Like, but then the waist was loose. Like, nigga, I was in that bitch uncomfortable than a motherfucker. Oh my like, God. like, if you look close enough at the trailers I posted, nigga was struggling, bro. Them bitches was tight. Them bitches was disproportionate. Nigga had no circulation from the, from the knee down. Next time you know, go full Vermilly style, full commando. Yeah, it is you and your girl. I mean, no, nah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, just... <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> gotcha, uh, gotcha. Like, uh, gotcha. I, 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 I had to put nigga, something off for the video. I still, I still need some swim trunks just for life, you know. I feel you, I feel <laughs> but I'm never wearing those again. Like, I'm gonna need to find the same ones because I'm them bitches were clean. I was feeling lit. I'm in mean, that bitch dancing and shit. Like, but nah, fun times, man. Fun times. Yeah. Sounds good. Niggas definitely enjoyed it, but uh. Yeah, I feel like that's enough about my week. Oh, shit. No, it's not. I forgot a story that I had to tell before we get into the other shit. Okay. We're in the hotel room. We're getting kind of thirsty. We're like, we're running out of the ginger ale that we had bought. 
We're like, I bet. So you sip the champagne? Uh, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, so then we're like, fuck it. All right, let's go get something to drink. We got to get back to watch Big Brother at seven anyway. Yeah. Oh my god, Big Brother's late anyway. <laughs> we leave, go to the gas station. For some reason, gas station ain't got no two liters on them. We're like, I bet, whatever. Boom, drive around for a little bit. We find a Mariano's. Go to Mariano's. I get me a jug of juice. Jug of juice still sitting right there. I ain't even finish it. Damn. Nah. Then, oh, fuck. I got to rewind part of the story. My bad. Yeah. So when we still had the ginger ale, we laying in the bed. I got a cup of ginger ale on my side. She got a cup of ginger ale on her side. My shit empty. I feel like getting up. So I ask her. I'm like, yo, is there still something to drink in your cup? She's like, nah, it's not. And then she picks it up and takes a sip from it. Damn. But she laughing because she think it's just that funny mm-hmm. and starts laughing and drops the drink all <laughs> over the bed, bro. Oh, <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> bro. Wait, 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 wait. But you couldn't laugh at her because it's mean. <laughs> bro. <laughs> you couldn't I laugh at her. It wasn't funny. I was, <laughs> you know, I would have been I dead. Was, I was just sitting there like... <laughs> I would have been dead. I'm like, fam, like, that's what we are. Like, I would have been like, you really don't fuck with me. She poor. was dying. Like, she was having the time of her life. She thought that shit was hilarious. <laughs> anyway, fast forward next day. Zoom, go to the gas station. They ain't had nothing. Doom, go to uh, fucking Mar- Mariano's, get the drink. She wants some Starbucks. Boom, go to Starbucks. Instantly, we get to driving back. We get out the car. We're like trying to get to get Big Brother. It's like 6.45 type shit. Shit start at 7. We go to get out the car. All I hear, sploosh. <laughs> she dropped that bitch all over herself. I'm like, so I'm getting ready to laugh because that shit is hilarious to me. I see like, it's not that funny to her. So I'm like, damn. <laughs> That's that moment you'd be like, I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's your exact face. You turn away, you'd be like, I get out the car to like walk around to the other side and go help her. I'm like, yeah, but it's like you step out the whip, you be like, oh oh my god, (laughs) it's like you doofus. Wow, (laughs) every time shit was hilarious, bro. So we had to go clean it up. She was like, I don't even want another one. Like, nah, like fuck it. I'm like, 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 nah, like let's just go back. Let's get you another one. Whatever. We slide back, go in line, get another one. We tell dude what happened. She's like, oh, uh, yeah, like, I just came through the line, spilled my drink oh, all over shit. myself. Like, I'm going to get, can I get another one? He was like, we got you. Like, he didn't even make us pay for it. Like, dude was cool about it. He handed it to me. He was like, yo, try not to wear this one this time. I'm oh. like, <laughs> like, yo, this nigga hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> this nigga is wild. Like, at that point, she was like, she was in a funny mood. Like, yeah. after probably like five minutes, like, oh, okay. she was cool about it. Oh, like, when it first dropped, I was like, she wasn't laughing. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the moment where you just, <laughs> you can't say shit. When she dropped the first one, it wasn't funny because I'm like, damn, like, like, I was really thirsty. Bro, and then we had to clean the bed up. Like, <laughs> bro. And then we, she spilled on her side. Then we, like, got up to, like, go get some food or whatever, came back. Guess it's not her side anymore. Like, oh, bro, she switched sides on my dumb ass. I'm like, it's a big bed, so it didn't even really matter. Cause like, you was able to move even away half that. a bed. Like, we were still cool, but like, the whole during the night, just she just shifted more and more. By the end of the night, she in the middle. Um, like trying to like get away from this <laughs> like, shit. This trying to like sticky. curl my back, bro. It's cold, like <laughs> sticky. <laughs> like, oh, this shit whack as hell. But yeah, nah, it was. Other than man, that, it was a super fun. I time. know my girlfriend would do that. Like yeah, yeah. if she spilled it on her side of the bed, she's gonna look at me like, "What? Why did you let me spill it?" And then I'll wow. be like, "How is that my fault?" And then she would be like, "Help me clean up." I was just salty. Yeah. But if I dropped it, it would have been solo man. Bro, if I would have dropped it, she would have been pissed. She, would, well, how the fuck did you spill it? Like, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, like bro, yeah. that shit is too true. <laughs> right. She'll call you out for it. You'll be like, "Yo, it happens." Like, I didn't mean to. Right. <laughs> like, That's just how the shit be going, man. See, but. damn, doofus. <laughs> <laughs> like shit. Just striking all your chords, yeah, exactly. Chris. I'm sitting there. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, Chris bro. Feel like he lived, he lived through some of this already. <laughs> yeah. I did. It literally have. She dropped like a whole cup of water like last week on her side of the bed. And it was just like. It just be cool. And then I came back with the towels and she was already in my spot. I'm like. 
<laughs> I'm like looking at her like, yo, like, can't get my spot back. And she was like, when girls fuck up, it just be cool. If I fuck up, it's the end. I, I done fucked everything up. <laughs> the whole I done day ruined it. Right. Ruined. Ruined her mood. Like, I'm in trouble now. Like, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Exactly. She going to be mad at me longer than the situation took. Right. Like, like she fucked up. It's just, yeah, we good. Yeah, we, uh, we'll get past it. Right. We're cool, man. Whatever. So would you say that this whole experience at the hotel strengthened the relationship? For sure. I mean, it's not like our relationship was, but like. Oh no, no, not yeah, yeah no. Nah, but not it was, <laughs> it was definitely fun. Like, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. She had a lot of fun. Like, we're gonna go back at some point, you know. Yeah. But it was, it was definitely a good time. It was, it was just a fun like couples trip. Like something like that would be cool to also do with just like more people too. There's only two people allowed, but like if there was some fun to just do it like a group of people. Quarantine right now, but you know, like not in quarantine, that'd be fun too. But yeah. like couples was just great. Like I had a great time. Oh, maybe. So would you say like, so since you've been in your relationship for so long, Almost would you say four you're? Years, or, I think. Would you consider yourself like to be a relationship expert? Hell no. Who would you consider to be a relationship expert? Anybody then? but me. Wow. Alexis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, not Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> um, who would I consider to be a relationship expert that I know? I feel like I feel like you gotta be. It's like a case by case situation. I feel like when it comes to it, when it comes to situations like that, I feel like it's a case by case situation because like every relationship is so drastically different. Like right. me and Alexis's relationship. It's probably super different from you and Brittany's relationship, yeah. which is super different from any of our parents' relationships ever were, which are super different than, like, any of our homies' relationships. Like, every relationship is so different. I feel like it's hard to be a relationship expert. So you don't think one exists, really, like a finite definition? I mean, obviously, you can be better at it than others. Like, you know, you can be, like, an actual, like, relationship therapist type thing. But even like that, you're not even an expert like off rip. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It takes multiple sessions to like get to know the couple, get to know what they want, like what their issues are. This is why I just say it's like a pot of bullshit. Like I, <laughs> I don't believe in any of that shit. Like you, you could say, oh, this will help you strengthen your relationship, but most of the time, it's just simple things that. If you uh, you should already have with the person. See, I'm I not gonna like. lie to you. I believe in it for that, like relationship situations, because and it doesn't even have to be that type of person. But sometimes a third party is helpful because when it comes to two individuals, when I don't want to say stakes are high, but like emotions are running high, like mm-hmm. very passionate about things, like because it's an important topic, like your relationship. Things get lost in translation. Yeah. Things get misunderstood. Emotions are running high. Like, you might not understand something that I'm saying directly to you. Right. But I could say it to Chris. Chris could interpret it and be able to express it to you differently than I can. Especially if it's a situation where both of us, our emotions are like super invested in the situation. Right. And we have a third party that is not in so like emotionally invested in it personally like if you're emotionally invested in like something else you know then you can come at it a little bit more um objectively a little bit more unbiased a little bit more so, calculated so do you think somebody with a degree or somebody who claims to be an expert is qualified to be the third party or can anybody be the third party i think i don't want to say anybody i think that friends can also be helpful but the only situation is like not all friends are going to be impartial in the situation. But and they're like, supposed to be biased. Say it again? They're supposed to be biased. Yeah, that's that's what I mean by like impartial. Yeah. But um so not I mean, it could be if you have the right friend, like if both people trust the friend type of thing. But I feel like obviously they have more skills in the situation if they've been trained in it like classically. Or can you be classically trained? That's what I'm saying. I don't think you can be. Yeah, like that's that. why I was saying I feel like it's just like a pot of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, of bullshit. like, there is no way. 
you're every relationship is different. So you can't tell someone like, yeah, a third party might help sometimes, mm-hmm. but I don't think like you can go and get counseling. You can go and do all that, but there's nothing like something that already works. There, like, but like I, if it's not working already. Yeah, but I'm saying if it's not working already, then there's already an underlying issue. And you you need to handle your issues, which is always something I've stuck by. Mm -hmm. It's someone can help you with your issues all you want, but sometimes there's an issue you have to handle directly. But what if the issue is not... um, What if it's an issue that affects both of you? Like what? Like, if you, if, I really can't imagine anything where it's like one party can't knock off what they're doing. But if you, sometimes you can't identify the issue. You two can't identify the issue. Yeah. Or but even if I you don't think identify, you need an expert to like realize an issue. I think you, sometimes a like, third party perspective would be the like, expert in that situation just because they're looking at it objectively compared to both of you having your emotions tied in and all of this okay you don't you don't need it's almost like expert third party it's almost like this it's like you and Brittany in a relationship everything's cool right yeah once you guys get into an argument you slip in to spanish you slip into speaking spanish right yeah she doesn't speak spanish once you guys get into an argument, she slips into Japanese. So now you're speaking Spanglish. She's speaking... Janglish. Hey, right. <laughs> Englishese? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But like, yeah. I like the compromise. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, sometimes there needs to be a third party that can understand a little bit of all of it and get you guys to be able to translate to To find the middle ground. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think you ever need an... Uh, I don't think there'll ever okay, be an okay. expert at somebody who is just like, oh, I can find the middle ground between you two. No, no, 100%. yeah. 100%. I agree. Like, yeah. I, I, agree, I agree with that. Like, there doesn't need to be an expert or, but it's going to be hard for you or Brittany to agree on just like a person to do that, that you guys know. You know, like yeah. sometimes you just have to go get. Yeah, I know. I know you could never like. Number one, I could never convince my girlfriend to, yeah, like, like, let's while, run our problems past this one of your friends. Like, while I and feel if, that, like, I'd be impartial in the situation and maybe you feel the same way, Brittany wouldn't go for that. Like, while yeah. maybe one of Brittany's gonna friends. She's going to think you're going to, ca- if anything goes my way, yeah. she's just going to look at me like, no, he's just taking your side because he's your friend. Exactly. Shit. Even if one of Brittany's friends can, like, you would be like, no, I wouldn't trust I, Brittany's that's, friends. That's why I wouldn't. Yeah. I no, I know I couldn't. No, I recommend I you. Okay. you they might listen to the podcast. Chill out. No, no, I'm saying in the sense of like, I know I couldn't because they all have Britney's back. Yeah, I like I like, just know I how feel like they girls operate. are different with that. Like, I feel like I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Like every time I I will call out my nigga for doing wrong. See, and like while I don't know for sure because I'm not a girl, I feel like when girls get into a situation and they like. Are look, talking to their friends about it, the girls be like, nah, yeah, like, fuck that nigga. Like, no matter what the situation is, that's just, like, girl power. Because, like, that's... While, in theory, it is a positive thing, sometimes it ends up, like, being fucked up. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of guys do it also. Maybe just not my friends so much, because my friends be on my ass, bro. My girlfriend don't think so, but, bro, nigga, no, no, no. You'll say some shit, and I'll be like, nah, you're, you're wrong. But, like, <laughs> I <laughs> even be like, saying yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, I be yeah. telling you the story and be like, yeah, like, like, like I, I thought I, about it I'd be after like, I, I was, left. I was kind of wilding. Like, I probably <laughs> shouldn't have done that whole time. It was like, I knew I was gonna get in trouble, but, you know, when you hit that point of no return. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes mm-hmm. it be like that. But, like, I don't know. I feel like girls and guys are different in that way, in my personal experience. And that's Vic, what were you saying? I lost my train of thought. It'd be oh. like that. Sometimes. It'd be like that. Um, fuck! I lost mine. Uh, <laughs> Damn, trains just hold like, on, hold on. Oh, running amok. <laughs> we just got trains everywhere. We were talking about friends. Uh, you 
you can't trust Britney's friends. Yeah, I Ooh, I, I love phrase that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I get <laughs> what you mean. Well, I love all of Britney's friends. I know every Good single safe. one of them would instantaneously take Britney's side, no matter what the... It could be Britney chopped off my left foot Damn. because I was late. They would justify it in some way. It would be like, <laughs> yeah, if you were just running harder on it, you weren't using it anyway, you might as well lose it. That's that hot girl shit. Chill. God damn. I want to say it, bro. <laughs> you don't need to be saying that. <laughs> nice. No. I just feel like... I don't feel like it's hot girl shit. I feel like it's just... Girls supporting girls. Yeah. And I, I don't feel like guys support each other as much as girls. Well, I don't. And I think while that's I a, like you calling me on my bullshit because it makes me better. No, for sure. Like, I, that is one thing that I don't like about. I'll see it happen when my with all my girlfriend's friends, they'll be like cheering each other on. But and then my girlfriend will come back and be like, she'll be like, I know that's a little fucked up, but, you know, she she's got it. I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm just saying, I would have kept it a buck fifty with her. Hey, yo, that's not gonna be right. I feel like, and I don't know. I feel like for me personally, my relationships with my friends are how do I phrase this without it sounding bad? They're inherently more negative in a funny way, so we're more used to critique. Like, I know whatever I do, I'm going to get some hate from Thomas. So if I do something, so if I do something like that's actually wrong and he actually has to critique me, I'm already used to it. So I'm not going to be like, oh, this nigga hates me now. Like, this is an issue. Like, if I fuck some shit up and Thomas is like, yo, like, last episode you did this wrong, you did this wrong. It's like, oh, shit, like, I got that. Because I'm used to him saying things like that to me. Yeah. A lot of friends are only, go you, you're great, let's go. So when you do something and, like, you're telling me a story about you and your girlfriend, you're like, maybe you did that wrong. Niggas are like, oh, shit, it's no longer go me. Like, do, like we must have a problem. Yeah, like, bro, what what's your bugging? And it's like, no, bro, like, you you want me to lie to you? I was like, you want me to sit in your ear? Like, and this is why, like, I have a really close friend who always says, you're one of the five people I know I can trust because, like, I'll tell you something and you always give me the response I need to hear. He was like, you don't give me that response that is like, yeah, I think, I think you got it. You'd be like, no, nigga, you fucking up. Yeah, no. You need to fix up. That's how it normally goes. Like, I don't know how you're going to do it, but, nigga, I believe in you, but right now you're down. Like, you got to fix that shit. That's how it be. And, like, I like how it's not always so serious. Like, if I get into, like, a conversation about some shit like that, like, we can laugh at it. Like, we can be like, yo, no, you fucking up. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, we can still laugh about it. Like, it doesn't have to be like a Wait, sit what down y'all think talk, I gotta like, do? Like, oh yeah, y'all niggas, you're garbage. Like, you're just a bad human. Blah. Like, you know, it doesn't <laughs> have to be that. Like, no, it's we always definitely do that too. We do, but <laughs> it's not in like a stop being a trash dude. <laughs> Big but up. it's not in like, <laughs> like a like you'll never be good type of way. It's in like a, I know this person's trying to help me, so it's cool. Yeah, it's like, always for like all of my closest friends. Uplifting. I will probably say nothing but bad things to you, but I will only say good things, like, to your face, unless I'm talking to, like, another one of our close friends, you know? Like, exactly, like, like I I'll would, hate on you to Thomas, but, like, if somebody's like, what do you think of Chris? I'm gonna be like, yo, like, that I, is a I will nigga. hate on, like, I will hate on y'all to y'all in front of you and not in front of you. I will be like, this nigga sucks. Yeah. And this nigga will pull up, and I will look at him and be like, you suck. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm following it up. It's never like I never talk about anybody outside of the room different. And not to say girls do. Not to say nah, girls do. I mean, do. this isn't an all girls are all guys type of thing. Because yeah. hella guys suck too. Yeah, no. Oh, what? Yeah, we're Dude, not going. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, yeah. sometimes I see somebody in a friend group, and I'm like, damn, I would kick it with y'all if it wasn't for that nigga. <laughs> I was like, I dislike that nigga. That nigga gives me snake vibes. Yeah. I was like, I can already see that y'all not really fucking with him. So I'm like, I don't know if any of y'all might be snakes in the grass, too. So I Facts. don't know. Birds I'm, of a feather flock together. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not even going to worry about it. 
Factual. But um, to answer your question for the uh, relationship experts, I mean, I don't know if there's a relationship expert, but I feel like if you need some help, get it. I don't feel like there's a single relationship expert. I bet. Uh, we're way deeper than we thought, and we haven't gotten any topics yet. So let's get into some of the hot topics of the week. What would you boys like to start with? How y'all feeling today? What y'all feeling in the mood for? Uh, let's talk about Corona Corona buildings getting expanded and reopened. Corona buildings? <laughs> <laughs> they got factories with this <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's called a school. Schools are opening. I'm like, are like, on blocks. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? <laughs> Those are Corona factories, niggas. They're going to be a new strain. Damn. You know, types of shit. I think that it is absolutely insane that movie theaters aren't open yet. We can't eat inside of restaurants. You can't go to the beach. You can't go to a concert. But kids can go back to school. That's the dumbest decision. What the made. fuck? Like the dumbest decision. Theaters are open. Yeah, I think they open up this weekend. Last yeah, year, but weekend. You're, you're stepping way, on my point here. No, I'm, it, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with you. <laughs> either way, that's still like. Do you understand? Most of the time that you got sick was probably from school. Facts. Uh, pretty much eighty percent of the times I got sick in my life, probably from school. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Somebody else at school is sick, and then everybody gets sick. Well, is your school district having classes? Oh, I don't think the one we went to. I don't think because I know my brother. He has all online. I don't think Illinois is, but a lot of states are. Michigan oh, is, and Michigan is suffering for it too. A lot way. of states are. I'm pretty sure um, our governor JB Pritzker is like, nah, fuck that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of other states' governors are like, fuck it. Bro, it's kind of fucked how how behind like the U.S. is and controlling this shit. Because Wuhan, China, they had that shit. They quarantined like hardcore for like three weeks, killed that shit. And now it's like they have like no cases over there. They were just like partying. I'm pretty sure. Think this weekend lying, they had like a them niggas lying, bro. lying. Huh? Pretty They're sure them niggas lying. lying. Yeah. If it got out of China, they didn't quarantine correct. That that's that yeah. is enough. Like yeah. th- for them to have the argument. Oh, we got well, rid of uh, it. According that's to the cap. news, they the majority of it's gone. Too. Come on. When, when was the last I'm just, time the news was? I'm correct? just. You know who don't lie though. The Storm Podcast. Check in every week at non playing. Trying to be Niggas. lying. <laughs> Niggas. Uh, number one in it. Fact check. Right. We, fact we, check, we, yeah. You could fact check. <laughs> that, look, nigga, they look, definitely still got corona. I don't care no, what you pull you up ready? on that computer. Ready? They have corona. Look, <laughs> has China lied to the media before? And that will give you enough <laughs> answers to make this not look credible. I mean, I don't care what it says. They, yeah, they have lying. corona. Their everybody numbers, has corona. Their well, numbers are down. Chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> not everybody has corona. But every country, that that's why we're in their a Their numbers pan- stopped at like 80, yeah, like at 80,000. That's why we're in a pandemic and not a... Small demic. Epidemic. There we go. Oh, and man. not... <laughs> Small demic, a sure pandemic. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's no, why it's not an epidemic; it's a pandemic. Like this shit worldwide. Like all the countries got yeah, it. If they motherfuckers still get it. If China quarantine correct, it wouldn't have made it out of China. Like we're we're still we're still for sure getting corona. Like, and it's dumb that the schools are opening because yeah, bad move. kids are going to bro. Bad tell move. me why some kids in I don't know what school their school opened. They recorded the crowded hallways, everybody going around or whatever, and posted on social media. It blew up. Those kids got punished by their school for posting that. That is ridiculous. Dude, it's crazy. That's ridiculous. Like you, You're going to tell them that we're not enforcing rules? That we're, we're mad at you. And it's like, it's not my fault you guys aren't enforcing rules. Personally, personally. I think school should be shut down. It should be moved to online. But in the same breath, I would be pressed right now if I were going to college and I was paying money for Zoom. That is not. You want to know some crazy shit? Not cool. A lot of schools, colleges are opening back up for the kids to come there. And here's the reason why. Even if you come for they, I'm, all the colleges know they're going to shut down because they can't keep it open. Yeah. Right. 
they just want the people to come there for the short amount of time so that way they have to pay for the in person classes Hustling. and then they're going to shut down and they don't get their money back. Hustling, man. Well, here's the thing. College is not an education quote unquote education system the way that the other grades of school is college is a business just like everything else thank you for pointing that out college is a business just like mcdonald's is a business just like our studio is a business so it runs off supply and demand so if people have an issue with this less demand means less supply so stop putting the stock and stake in it fixes the issue right there Oh man! But as long as people continue the demand for college, the supply for they will keep supplying college. And as long as they know, if niggas will pay this, then we're gonna make them pay it. But if motherfuckers start saying, "Hell no, I'm not about to pay this much money to get connected for free with Education Connection," like, no, I'm not doing this shit to have YouTube be my teacher. Then they will stop charging you that. They'll lower the prices so they can get the money that they can get. Yeah. Because college and is a business. That's why I was trying to... All school to, is a business. Really. Yeah. Look, I knew Corona, number one. I knew... China was lying about the whole Corona thing because... You're still on that. Yeah, the, well, well <laughs> yeah, that and the co- the college's reopening was like... That was easy. They, they were clearly like, they have to open up. Yeah, come back, come back, go home. They're going to be like, go home. Everybody go home. And... Like I, my friend told me Iowa State is done for the semester after like November. Wow, yeah, they're done. Like, and I'm like, yeah, that they're they're already prepared to like re just shut down. Exactly. So, so I that's why I knew like China was lying. There's no way we can't we can't hold the shit down. And they stopped their numbers in two weeks. It went from like like ten thousand to eighty thousand minimal, and then it was like minimal damage. No. No, there's no way. And China's way more overcrowded than America. China got a higher population. I think it's possible if if no. everybody so, hardcore quarantines and no. minds their own fucking business. They, they like, have less square footage per person than New York. So Chris, that is terrible. Chris, what do you think about the NCAA athletes losing scholarships over Corona? Oh, I Shit that they've that, worked hard their whole yo, life yo, to yo, get, yo. I'm not and gonna now lie. they can't. I'm not going to lie. I laughed a little. I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "Yo, that shit has to. That's fuck. interesting. That that shit has to fucking suck." Imagine you. Imagine. You spent every day in the fucking gym, grinding, yeah. trying to get to the NBA. Sorry, nigga. I'm sorry to tell you. Said that because I didn't even. Uh, I didn't even think of that. I feel like there should be some way to protect that. I don't know. I don't know. No. There's no know. way to protect it. I think some people will honor it and some people won't honor it now. What do you mean? Like some people will honor the scholarships for whenever they get oh, like back. like some um, colleges? You yeah. Know? Because as of now, from what I remember, and Vic, if you want to look this up, you can, all like football um, college leagues or the college football league is done. I know. I know that. But – I guess that's crazy because, like, yeah. motherfuckers eat off that. Like, yeah. That yeah, is I, the main, like, source of income for most of the schools, too, like the uh, the revenue the sp- from all the games and stuff. Yeah, all the sports. Right. That's crazy. Right. Like, And the niggas after you, like, what, 20, 30 when Corona's done, they'll get their shit if college is still around. But they'll get theirs, you don't get yours. And the people before you got theirs, so you just, you're in the middle of some bullshit. That's the thing. I was talking to my homies about, like, if senior year of high school Corona would have hit, bro, bro, we would have rioted. Like, yeah. Like, imagine, and like, I was talking to my track homies, like, bro, like, I know our track coach. Like, somebody needs to put him on suicide watch because this nigga loves track with all his heart and soul. Like, our senior year, we were getting like bussing. The year after us, them niggas went crazy. Like, and our team has only been getting better and better. And like, niggas probably could have fuck around in one state this year. Damn. But then the shit just cooked. Like, like imagine working your whole forever. So like the NCAA shit got to be even worse than that. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, niggas who are going to the league will never get their shot at like showing, yo, this is what I got. 
This is what I could do on the second highest level. So, like, you, you'll you never get your like shot Like, some motherfuckers just missed on the league now. Like, they can't even go to the league. Yeah. Well, like, no, nah, I imagine a lot of people are just going to go to camps and just be like, yo, that's, I'm like that. That's also a possibility. Yeah, like, yeah. yo, I'm like that. But that's only going to be, like, a niche amount of people. Not a lot of people go to, like, college to play a sport and are going to the league. That's like, crazy. regardless of what league they go to, the NFL, the NBA, the MLB, regardless... There's only a choice few of them niggas who actually get in. And yeah. that's crazy, man. Like, I the corona shit fucking shit up. I feel like the school's got to fix the shit. Because motherfuckers paying for lodging, bro. Like, you pay for your... Lodging isn't the word, but whatever the fuck this shit is called. Board. Dorming. Board. Like boarding. Room and board. Oh, some yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, lodging, same, same yeah, shit. Y'all know what the fuck same I'm talking shit. about. It's, it's all the same. Motherfuckers thing. still pay for that shit when they're not there. Like... Yeah, that's... Fucking bogus. Shit is cooked, bro. Cooked like, me. they didn't get that. Bro, you still paying for your fucking food shit. Your meal plan. I feel like it's Motherfuckers crazy. pay for their meal plan didn't eat all spring. They better ship that shit to me. <laughs> Fuck yeah. that. They better be in the kitchen. Yeah. Uber Eats your shit. Yeah, they you better. Uber Eats this shit from the dining hall. No, I feel like that shit is so crazy to me. Because they won't forgive nobody for their debt. But they're like, yeah, let's. Can we please jug y'all? Like <laughs> jug y'all. Like I just need all your bread. Like Thomas, I you promise ain't even you, eating the bread. Twenty thousand this semester ain't nothing, bro. You'll be able to pay it back in a good thirty. Fuck that. Come Fuck on, that. what? You're not gonna bless me? Like, Maybe. <laughs> like, that's really how they. That's really how they are, and it blows my mind because I can't walk up to no nigga and just be like, "Give me twenty thousand dollars." You're not a business. Hey. Regardless, I don't think I don't think I'll ever hit the p- part where I'll walk up to a regular nigga and be like twenty thousand dollars now. But they know and that motherfucker was gonna pay it, and that's why that shit's crazy to me, man. It's definitely got crazy. a lot of people rethinking the whole college institution. Oh no, it, this is definitely gonna bring the laugh. bubble closer to popping. Yeah, because the bubble is gonna pop soon. That's what happens on most businesses that are overcharging. The bubble's gonna pop. It's just like stock market. Yeah. Like if a shit is overcharging, at some point the bubble has to pop. And college is clearly overcharging. A lot of people feel that way. Bubble's gonna pop sooner or later. But yeah, let's get into the hottest topic of the week. I've been waiting to talk about this for a minute since we found out earlier this week. YBN Corday, or should I say Corday, has officially. Taken the YBN off his name and left. What does it stand for? Young, Young boss, boss niggas, niggas and has officially left them niggas and is just Corday now on all um, social media. music platforms on Spotify, Apple Music, Title, Instagram. I think he's still YBN Corday on Twitter, actually. But everywhere else, I, he's I just think Corday. it's because you can't change your at. If you change your ad on Twitter, you lose being verified, and you gotta wait for it again. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, because he's still white being. And a lot of people Twitter. don't like losing that blue check mark. Shh, nigga, you can't lose that shit. That shit's gold in today's yeah. time. So, Man. hey, so for those who don't know, I wish we had the clip here. We'll find a way to edit it in. Chris actually predicted this. I don't know if you remember. Oh yeah, he predicted this oh, yeah. probably over a year ago. Oh yeah, and I was telling him, nah, I don't think he' gonna do it. And Chris was like, no, this nigga gonna come up off them niggas and, and dip. leave them motherfuckers and dip. I I've been saying this shit. He got on because he noticed somebody around him got famous. Somebody around him in the same local area, somebody he probably already talked to before. It was Namir. Yeah. Namir got famous. And off he was off the paint he was like, bro, hit. bro, bro, let me say I'm YBN. I think they were all YBN before he got no, Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. else was YBN. I don't think Corday was YBN. No, nah, Corday, Corday was YBN, but like those were the original three. I don't, I don't think Corday was actually YBN. Well, he was repping YBN. Like the niggas who made YBN were not was their fourth too. Corday. So okay, hold on. No, it was made on the game. Yeah, Every no, time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was a GTA group. It was YBN. Corday, Almighty J, and I think they said that there were like six other niggas, but them niggas didn't like hold it down for whatever. YBN like, Manny. Yeah, like there there are other niggas in YBN. But nobody else like actually like repped it. Like everybody else like stopped playing GTA. 
So, like, after that, it was just, like, the three of them that were YBN. Yeah, no, but every time I've watched it, it was Corday joined after. He was like, I never played the game. That is that That's is something he always he always says, I never played the game. Well, Therefore, is, he was not there when YBN was made. This is according I, to Namir. So. Like, yeah, I'm saying Namir said that YBN was made on the game. He never said Corday was there when it was made. Well, he did. I, I, watched, I, 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 watched I, can, today. I can guarantee you that is not check. what he said because I, that is why I made my assumption that that nigga was going to leave. I, it was Corday... And Namir talk. It was literally just Corday. It was originally Namir was talking about how it was made, and I was like, I didn't really hear about Corday talk about it at all. Corday just said he was fucking with Namir. Yeah, no, there. He said, yeah, he so, said I fucked with Namir, so I joined YBN. I was like, you joined YBN because YBN had a clout. I was like, that's all you need. You just needed to know. Like niggas needed to know that Nam that Corday could rap. That's all he had to do. No, he just sure. had to get his name in the hat. Well, they're not even like the same style yeah, of rap. Not. Like at no point were not they ever close. like not even close. They never felt like a group. When you take a gaming thing and turn it into like a rapping thing, it is bound to fall apart. But I'm saying- personally, I felt that Namir was going. I mean that. Corday was just going to hold it down just because he looks bogus as fuck for leaving. But I feel like he got himself to the point where, like, he don't even look bogus. Like, no, he, he still looks bogus because I know the truth. I know the niggas, truth at the, at the end of the day. He only used him as a stepping stone. OK, but at the end of the day, like. If you get to the point where, like, them niggas are the YBN is just the anchor, like, you got to let the anchor go like. Sometimes you can do better for other people at a distance. If, if I can, like, if I'm a better climber than you, I could probably do a better job climbing up and pulling you up than putting you on my back and trying to climb with you on my back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, once I have a solid footing, I could probably do better for you. Now, if you get butt hurt, that I'm not going to put you on my back and I'm just going to reach down later and you don't want to take my hand anymore, like, I get it. Like, sometimes that happens. But, like... Uh, see, that's a tough call because the butt hurt comes from not knowing if that person is going to validate, no, that's you know, true. what they said and yeah. reach the hand down. I agree. Yeah, that's why I never really, like... I know... You could tell off the jump, like, not what Namir rapped about, what Jay rapped about, and then Corday. It didn't make sense. Well, Corday is a completely different rapper. Corday had been rapping since he was five. Corday had been. Cord, there's videos of like seven year old Corday rapping. Like yeah. he he was bred to do this shit. Like he, he, it's videos him and his dad rapping. Like the nigga the nigga was like just chilling around. Like he's, he's been rapping down forever. Like a different league than them, and he got to a point where he was even a dif- different league. Um, he knew he was statistically and socially to where like nigga was getting nominated for Grammys. No, but I'm saying he he knew when he was at the bottom that that was that's what exactly what he needed. He was like, somebody got to blow up around me. All I have to do is ride the coattails. I mean, he got his shine. You know, yeah. I know. I can, can I ever blame else? a nigga? Like, no, but I'm definitely. I set it off jump. This nigga clearly wasn't YBN. I was yeah. like, he's clear, clearly not YBN. He was going to do his own thing no matter what. He was going to... I was like, there's zero chance of him staying in YBN. Like, yeah, I mean, I, at I the end that. of the day, he outgrew YBN. And a nigga left. Like, and I know Namir's Wait, what, what did Namir say? I know he's pissed about it. Like, Namir's fuck. Like, he's mad as fuck about it. I don't think Jay gives a fuck. And even if Jay leaves YBN, who the fuck cares? He, he's a YouTuber now. It don't matter. He is, he, he's like, a YouTuber yeah, now? He, he's just YouTube content. I mean, I don't think anybody... I don't... DDG. I've never given you a fuck. You said what? He hangs around with DDG. Oh, that guy. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. I've never given a fuck about Almighty J. Uh, Namir rubbing off the paint was a hit. He still drops music. He still has his fan Horses base. in the rain. Yeah, I don't listen to his shit as much anymore. But I was never a fan I just really like rubbing off the paint, and I like um, doom, doom, 
Doom, doom, doom. All right, guys. I am not fully sure how we managed to miss this, but in the middle of the podcast, we took a break, looked at some new shit, and we found out that Megan the Stallion admitted, or I don't know if admitted is the word, she confirmed. Confirmed. That's the word. Thank you. She confirmed that Mr. Tory Lanez was indeed the person who shot her. She got on IG Live, and I'm going to read this shit. I'm a little tired, so I might not be the best at reading, but fuck it. Y'all hoes so worried about it. Yes, this nigga, Tory, shot me. You shot me, and you got your publicist and your people to these blogs lying and shit. Stop lying. Why lie? I don't understand. I tried to keep the situation off the internet, but you dragging it. You really fucking dragging it. Motherfuckers talk about I hit this nigga. I never hit you. Motherfucker was like, oh, she mad because he was trying to fuck Kylie and shit. No, I wasn't. You dry shot me. Scroll down a little more. I bet. Everybody, there was everybody in the car. It's only four motherfuckers. Me, you, my homegirl, and your security. Everybody in the car arguing. I'm in the front seat. This nigga in the back seat. I get out of my car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I get out. I walk away. This nigga from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. You shot me. I ain't get cut by no glass. There should be a nigga there. I ain't get cut by no glass, nigga. Uh, blah, blah, blah. People, she started talking about whatever. She, uh, yeah, like why she didn't say anything about Tori <laughs> having a gun. Look, well, she mostly <laughs> talked about how she was in fear of the police. I'm going to read it. Fuck that. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's people in the neighborhood. There's a witness. When the, pe- when the police came because the neighborhood. Because the neighbors. Niggas can't read. <laughs> when the police came because the neighbors called the police. This did not happen at Kylie's house. I was damn near at the crib. I was just getting home. I was five minutes from the crib. Police came. I'm scared. All this shit going on. Because remember, this shit did happen back when, uh, like, the riots yeah. were high, like, at the height of their, like, you know, all Police. that shit. Yeah, right. Shit was an issue. Police is shooting motherfuckers for anything. They was literally keep killing black people for no motherfucking reason. As soon as the police got there, uh, they really aggressive, blah, blah, blah. They, are we going to tell black, tell us that we black people had a gun? No. You want me to tell that we got a gun in the car so they could shoot us up? Nigga, I'm scared. It's a fucking helicopter. All that shit. Why the fuck would I tell somebody that just shot me? Blah, blah, blah. I mean. Wow, she, one she more time. I'm going to quit sparing you. Yeah. I mean, she kept it 100. She told us what the fuck happened. Tory Lanez's team was apparently lying. It was just playing. Spreading lies. Like, I guess trying to make it easier on himself. But, uh only made things worse like cats out the bag i mean we all pretty much knew already but now that she said it like i can't believe it happened over an argument though everybody in the car arguing you like you get so hot-headed i'm about to shoot this nigga (laughs) like uh, (laughs) like that how does it ever get to that point what were y'all arguing about this nigga like she got out the car Exactly. She was walking away. away. Cause like if she saw and he she said, pictures of where the bullets were, and I was confused like how she got shot in the back of the feet the way she did. In my mind, she got shot like like near her toes. She got shot in her heels. That she was walking crazy. away, and I was trying to figure out like how the fuck that could even happen. But she got out the car, was walking out that bitch, and the nigga leaned out the back seat and got the bus in, like. I thought she said like she he shot her in the car. I guess that was what originally what the original statement was, but she said she got out that motherfucker. And he but I'm like, what were y'all arguing about? Where it got so heated that this nigga upped his gun and started shooting you? Like I like you got to be a different level of hothead. So y'all canceling them or no? Chris. Dude, that's no. some ultimate bitch shit. What? We anybody can get shot at? We're, come on, bro. It's bitch shit. You're a bitch. I, I, I think it's a whole move. I'm gonna keep it honey with you. A whole move. Y'all know. I before this situation, like I just started to like Tory Lanes. I was even playing Tory Lanes over my vacation. I just took, but like after this, like, bro, you're a bitch. Like Big I'm sorry, because not only did he shoot her, but she was. She was literally walking away from the situation 
and he said, "Yo, I'm this heat. I'm so heated that I'm a, you're a shoot you as man, you're walking bro. away." Exactly. That's like that to me. Like that is that is a super coward move to ever stab somebody who is look like to ever shoot at somebody who is clearly leaving the situation. They're just like, "Yo, I'm done, bro." Like because be they were all in the argument, car arguing. You should get locked up to be in an argument. Like, are you canceling? Let me ask you: Are you canceling Tory Lanez for this? Um, I, I want to hear what he has to say. You know, yeah, I want to hear what he has to say before. Uh, it's obviously like a you know steep hill he has to climb, and not saying anything he could say would really like. I don't think what what anything. could he say? I don't know. What, I just like, ask, like, is there anything he could pot? He shot a woman while she was disengaging. while she was walking away, yeah. and disengaging. She could have robbed him blind. Well, I still don't think that. that's not why I want to hear what he has to say. No, no, but I'm saying it. like, like in, you, in you think situation. it's okay for him to shoot her? And I situation? think if you took two million dollars from me, I would think differently while I was holding this gun and you told me that you took my money. I think I definitely think you could enrage somebody enough, like where they're losing their damn mind and they already had a gun on them and they can make a mistake. Maybe now, I don't. I don't think. I hopefully it wasn't over. No, you ate the last slice of pizza back at the Airbnb. I, see me personally. What? I don't <gasps> think <gasps> like, me. No. Maybe I'm just a different type of person. In my mind, there is no reason to hit a woman, much less shoot a woman. Like, bro, that's the ultimate bitch shit. Like, I, I you're not, gonna fucking shoot her. It's, it's ma- 2020. Walking, I don't give a fuck. It's that's me. I don't give a fuck unless she had a weapon. And you were fearing for your life? The fuck are you shooting her for? No, that's some bit. That I'm is a, some bitch a, shit. You the, are an A one bitch, and I will say that to anybody. No, like if I'm you not, do that shit, you're my man's in your bitch, nigga, nigga. What I am saying is, it is 2020. I'm all for equality. Anybody could get the hands. I'm not if, with that. If a girl swung on like Thomas, and she over here trying to knock Thomas out. I can't be mad at Thomas for directly, like, I don't know, shoot. If Thomas, like, back up and then, like, whoa, 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 and then stick her, like, out of, out of like, whoa, fight or flight, like, and he stick her, I can't be mad at Thomas. She was just aggressing Thomas. I uh, look, first off, I've said this on the podcast multiple times, I think that just like guys are taught not to hit people, I think girls should also be taught that because they're not. Because, I mean, I guess it makes sense why they haven't been, you know, protecting yourself. Like, a lot of times they are aggressed. But that also does translate into women aggressing men. Yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. So, I've definitely however, watched many a girl swing on somebody. No, for sure. And I'm like, yo, you're bold. But, but that even is- in that situation, like, I don't feel that. If it's me in that situation, hard shove, I'm fucking leaving. Like, yeah, that's it. The, there's no I'm need for me to do. boom or to pull out a fucking gun. Like, first off, why the fuck does Tory Lanez have a gun when his security guards in the fucking I car? I don't know. Like, even if, if you know you that type that's of nigga, nigga who can get pushed to the point where I'm a like, if you have your gun on you, you're probably going to fucking use it. Like, that's yeah. that's what happens a lot of the time, yeah. especially if you know you're a hot headed. No, shit is fucking stupid. But shooting at a woman. Would you rather get caught with it or without it? Nigga. The answer to the question. No, just answer. I asked you simple questions. Yes or no. Would you rather get caught with it or without it? What is the situation in which I need it? Would you? That's not what I. I'm, asked I'm asking. What would be a situation which I? You need answered it? my question with a question. You do this to Thomas all the time. <laughs> I need. A <laughs> <situation> <laughs> you do this to I Thomas need. all the time. But Malcolm, would you rather get guns. caught with it than without it? But I'm asking you, why the fuck? What would I need Nigga, it for? That is not the question asked. Would you rather get caught with it than without it? There needs to be more context to that. All right, you you got some niggas that want to take your life. Would you rather get caught with it? What the fuck or is happening? It? Like the fuck? I need more to the situation. Dude, there are niggas. All right, we're in the studio. Who, someone breaks in. Would you rather boom, get caught with got, it or without? They got it? guns. They got bats or whatever. Would you rather have a gun or not? Have and a now gun? it's a shootout. Like now we're all shooting. Right? Like, is that what's going on? I guess. All right. So, well, okay. You're wait. not answering. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Pause for a second. We need to get Thomas, back. Thomas, is this what he lets you pause do? Or does he just <laughs> he does command an answer? It is. Would you rather get caught with it or without it? There okay. is nothing. There sure, is nothing I, more. I'd rather have it, but I'm the type of nigga who's not going to use it. 
anyway, let okay. So if we're gonna rather, talk about guns, let's. So I have a homie at Target, right? Nigga got robbed at gunpoint this week. Yeah. Nigga pulled up on him, put the gun to his chest. He was with another girl who worked at Target. You actually know her. I'll tell you later. You know, it's not my place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But pulled up, put the gun to his chest. Give me everything you fucking have. Like, nigga didn't have his wallet on him at the time. But he gave him his phone. Like they didn't bother the girl, but she still like was like, "Fuck it, like take all my shit too." Like this is not the situation. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck was having a gun? Good. Like so in that situation, if nigga would have pulled up on you, like no, you give them your fucking stuff and you leave with your fucking life. Like that's the situation. The situation with Tory Lanez, this nigga should not have had a gun in this situation. Him having a gun in this situation ruined his life. All right. His but life this, is ruined, right? This also comes up to say, what if what if that night four random mass niggas pulled up to his whip? That's okay, what if that is that is what he has the gun for. He doesn't have the gun because he's some hot headed nigga who is ready to shoot a nigga at every moment. We can talk- he has the gun because there are niggas who want to take his light. There are niggas who want to take his money. There and are we niggas- can talk about what ifs until we're blue in the face. We know what happened. What right. happened What is- happened to Pop Smoke? What happened what is- happened to Pop Smoke? They he, were he got caught without it. Nigga. He got caught without it. Nigga was asleep, bro. He wasn't asleep. Nigga was in his crib sleeping. Motherfuckers pulled up on him. Having a gun in that situation probably wouldn't have helped him that much. There were motherfuckers in the house with guns. Anyway. Caught, I definitely think some nigga would have got clipped by a bullet. Motherfuckers that's had enough guns to in the house out. and he's still, what? He's still dead. He the didn't, he didn't have guns in the house. Motherfuckers in the crib had guns. He he's was solo dead. in the crib. He's he was still the dead. only nigga there. Motherfuckers is still dead. Anyway. For the situation, that's just an illogical argument, bro. For the situation with Tory, nigga should not have had a gun on him. I, I'd look, rather get caught with it than without it. Okay, that's fine. In this situation, his life is done. Like, maybe he can find a way to six nine his way out of this and fix some shit. Like, maybe. Like, I can't fuck with him. I anymore. doubt Meg's Me gonna pre- press charges. Well, Meg doesn't have to press charges. They already had an open investigation and. This oh, is yeah. all the evidence that they need. So th- what like, I, they were already trying to prove that it was Tory. Yeah, but uh, all I'm trying to say is, a ni- I understand why a nigga like that needs to carry a gun. What happened to X? X was chilling one day, didn't have it on him. He got glicked. That that is literally what happens in the hood all the time. That is a lifestyle that. I don't. I just don't think you understand where they're coming from. It is a nigga who every day his life was on the line. Of course, he's carrying a gun. Like that. That's a nigga who's no. Okay. I definitely. G Herbo is somewhere right now with a lot of money and a gun on him, and that is fine. But if you're going to live by the sword, you I have to also be ready to die by the sword. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the situation that's going to happen. I would so, rather get caught with it. Then without it. That's fine. But th- there are a lot of situations like, yes, there are situations in which a gun is going to help you and it will help you leave with your life. There were a lot more situations in which you pulling out a gun is going to end your life. Yeah. But that is I, the situation but that's going to happen. That like, that's just Tory the stats. is carrying that gun because he's it's not that he is sitting there waiting to ruin his life. He is waiting for a nigga to try and take his. I do he did he use his gun incorrectly? Yes. Did should he have not had it? I don't agree with that part. Okay. And like, that, that is your dude, that is one thousand percent your opinion. All I'm saying is from the situation that happened as it is laid out, like I mean we can't go back and change anything. Nigga's life is destroyed. I feel he shouldn't have had it. Maybe I don't know how he feels. Maybe in his mind he's like, I'm glad I had it. Maybe in his mind it's like, fuck, like shit's cooked for me. Why are you like, blaming? I don't know. I don't blame the gun at all. The gun did nothing. The gun did its operation. It shot. The nigga did wrong. The the you're blaming the gun. The gun did nothing. He used it. That is his fault. I am There's, not blaming the. Why was the gun jumped in his pocket? No, no. I why did he have a gun? The conscious decision of saying. I know who I am as a person. I know that I'm going to have security with me. 
I'm going to take this with me anyway. I get it. I get maybe his thinking was maybe somebody's going to jug me at Kylie Jenner's house. Like maybe my security is going to die in the process. Like maybe we're going to like have to have a shootout. Like maybe that I get his thinking in this situation. I think that that was a poor decision. If you think that was a good decision, that's what you think. No, we don't know what a, he was thinking. It's not about the decision to carry the gun. That is not it, the problem. It, is, it didn't pop in his pocket. He picked N- it up. Nigga, that's not the problem. Him having the gun is not the problem. That nigga has access to a gun anyway. So the, regardless of him having the direct gun is not the problem. It was his decision. That is the incorrect problem. He did wrong, not the gun. You're saying if he didn't carry a gun, what if what if that night instead of grabbing his gun, he just grabbed his security go- uh, officer's gun and shot, okay. uh, shot her? Then, right. then what? I'm going to tell you how my brain works. I, I'm just going to let you know. If I pull up to your house or if I pull up to your car, I'm here to rob you, right? Yeah. I pull up on you to rob you. Give me all your shit. I'm I'm not playing to take your life. Yeah. I just want your shit. Yeah. The second I see you have a gun also, my life is now in danger. If it's me or you, fuck it. It's you. Yeah. That's the way this shit's going to go down. Yes. I'm. That's me if I decide to rob Yes. You. I don't know if anybody else is like, you got a gun. Now I'm going to leave. Like, I don't know. Me, you're dead now. Like, yeah. your life is over now. Okay. Like, shit's cooked for you. Yeah. What, what, what's the point? The point is, if you don't have it, you might have a chance of living. You're, you have no chance now. Your shit's no, over. No, no. But I'm saying, what if it's niggas who pulled up on X? Niggas who are 100% gunning to take your life because there's $50,000 in the car, and I know that. There is $50,000 in that car. I'm glicking you as soon as I pull up. I so still if, don't think a gun niggas, would have saved him. I definitely think a gun gives him a fighting chance. So they glicked him as soon as they pulled up, and what? He is the Sharingan? Like, no. Niggas the Flash? Like, no. You see like, niggas approaching the car, you pull up your gun. The second you see he has a gun, you already have the jump on the nigga. Oh, because X is the fastest hand in the West. Like, no. Like, I'm telling you from my perspective. You have never been pulled. Has anybody ever pulled a gun on you? No, nigga. Then how do you how do you know what it's like for a nigga who's consistently in that situation? Nigga. You're you're speaking from a perspective you have no clue about. Nigga. You're the, you're, nigga, you, you weren't there, nigga. You just said if he wasn't carrying the gun, nigga. That's not your decision to make. He, nigga, he wasn't carrying a gun and still died. What are you? I, I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not talking about X. I'm talking about Tori. Tori is. Care- you said he shouldn't have picked up the gun that night. He was the one who decided to put it in his pocket. Did I say he, he shouldn't, or did I say I wouldn't have done it? You said he shouldn't. He had. I said that I don't know what his I'm thinking was. Just no, watching her right no, now. no, no. I'm, I don't know what Tori Lane's <laughs> but, thinking but was I'm that saying, night. You don't know what Tori Lane's thinking was that night. I know what my thinking is. I, I think know that when, was a poor decision. I know why niggas carry guns. I know that I know that lifestyle. I know why he carries a gun too. Do I think that's the correct decision? No, I don't. Why? For what? I reason? just explained it. I'm not gonna explain You're, it what, again. The, okay, because some nigga's gonna come up. No, the nigga has fucking security. Why the fuck would a nigga just be able to walk up like that? Now you're noticing it's eight niggas walking towards you. You're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna grab Glick and you're you're ready. You're already ready okay. because. Yo, what y'all on? And then niggas gonna be like, yo, we wasn't even on that type shit. Like, or or niggas are gonna buck at you. And it is what it is. Why would you ever put... I understand why a nigga with money is sitting there like, yo, I have to at least... There has to be somebody with a pistol or I have to have a pistol. Okay. And if you live by the sword, you, you also to have be to be prepared to die yeah. by the sword. So make your decisions... As you see fit. Tory made his decision as he sees fit. You and I make our decisions every day. I'm not as justifying we see fit. anything. I don't have a gun on me. Gun. You don't. He did. Like, everybody has their own decisions. And at no point am I saying, like, yo, let's make sure nobody ever has a gun. I'm telling y'all how the fuck I feel. No, because I me, would, I wouldn't have done it. Me looking into this situation, I think that was a horrible I don't, decision. I don't think 99% of the population would have whipped out their gun and shot Megan the Stallion as she was walking away. I don't I don't think 99% of the population would have done that shit. It is literally it was piss poor decision making by someone who was probably already enamored or fucking what's the correct word? I'm trying to think inebriated. of right here. Yeah, inebriated. Somebody who's probably already Damn, inebriated. How you get that from a yeah, he knew what I meant. I was just trying to say under the yeah, influence. Yeah. So it was 
I don't think you could in any way like blame the gun or the fact that he was carrying the gun. I understand why he's carrying it. Why he would ever draw the gun in the conversation is that that is what irks me. Niggas feel n- niggas feel power by grabbing it. That I'm is that you, is that dumb shit. I'm telling you, if I were to carry the gun, I know that I'm the type of nigga that I know one thousand percent. I would only use it if one thousand percent necessary. I know that about myself. I have friends to where I'd be like, yo, nigga. You're the type of nigga to where you can lose it. Like, that is the type of nigga you are. I feel that Tory Lane should know about himself that he's that type of nigga. Maybe he got pushed to a new level he's never been to. Very possible. Like, yeah. He might have. But I'm saying if I was in that situation, I know myself and I know that I'm the type of nigga that can slip. I'm not going to give myself the chance. But I'm just not. What if if I'm going to slip, I'd rather slip and beat the fuck out a nigga than slip and take his life and take mine in the process. Yeah, but I'm saying, what if that's not what you were on and it was only the drugs? What if what if he was off? If I know that I'm going to be taking drugs and I know that I get like, I'm just, I'm all of this is off the assumption that he knows himself. All of this is off the assumption that this is part of his personality from listening to his music and him saying that it is part of his personality. Yeah. This is all coming from that assumption. If that is your type of personality, if I if I knew that was my personality, I wouldn't. Because guns make niggas more confident than they are without them. Me, I'm the type of nigga, I feel like I'd be cool. I feel like you're the type of nigga that you could probably also think about. It. I have friends who I'd be like, if a nigga, we're going to a party and I see him pick up a gun, I'd be like, I'm nigga. going home. I'd be like, my nigga. You know good and well that last time we were out, you beat a nigga ass for talking to you wrong. Imagine what you're going to do if you lose it again. Yeah, but the, the at the same time, can you blame a nigga who has a lot to lose? Like, he has a fuck ton to lose. The, niggas depend on him. Niggas are... That's, it's, it's all types of shit. You're not going to want to walk out without a gun. Yo, not, and I get that. Niggas want to take You have a got. lot to lose. He lost it. He did. He hasn't lost all of it yet. He might find it. I'm, I said it before. He might six nine his way out of this. Like maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Like in the, in the words of twenty one. Twenty one got caught without his pistol. He got caught without his pistol. Boom, boom. Niggas started shooting. Niggas fearing for his life. He find a pistol on the ground from somebody who just got shot. He picked that bitch up. Boom, boom, boom. Got to dumping. He was like, my niggas wouldn't have died that day if I was holding my pistol. If I would have brought my pistol with me, my niggas wouldn't have died that day. It's a case by case situation. Yeah, but I'm telling you, and that's in this case, what I would have done. Blame that nigga for having it. I can blame that nigga for becoming a hothead and shooting that bitch. And that's where other is a hothead. And by that bitch, I mean the gun, not the female. I knew what you meant. I don't know. Maybe other people didn't. You're picking up for picking up his gun and blasting it. There, there is no excuse for that shit. That is a dumbass move. Now, yeah, you can say you should know yourself. You should know yourself. You don't gauge that you're going to shoot somebody that you came with last night. You don't That, know. that makes no... You're no not in any you realm. you gauge that. I don't think that he even thought. Like, when people ask, like, what was Tory Lanez thinking? I don't think he was thinking. Yeah. I think that this nigga was just blind with rage. And if you're the type of nigga who can go blind with rage, like... I'm not the type of person who, like, even if I'm, quote, unquote, blind with rage, I'm there's still rationality to me. not ever going to hit a woman. Like, there's so, some things where you know you just won't go. So let me interject real quick. Go ahead. Um, what I was saying, personally, is that um, I just like seeing both sides of the coin before I make a judgment. Yeah. So I don't naturally, it, it, I he could be, like. 100% wrong in everybody else's mind. I just need to see what he has to say. I mean, unless what he has to say is Megan the Stallion was had a weapon like and was attacking him. It may not change your opinion, but I still have to see it. No, yeah, no. I feel that. To me, unless that's what he says, 
the, there's nothing else he can. If he tells me he took two perk thirties and lost his fucking mind, I yeah. would hope he does not say that. No, if he told right. if That'd he said stupid. no, because because perks make you aggressive. No, I know. I'm saying that'd be a stupid answer. Yeah, but if he said he took two perks, I fucked up. I know I fucked up. I'm sorry. I I can't be mad at that nigga anymore because you have realized your error. No. Where do I forgive somebody who fucked up? No. That, you can't you can't forgive someone then? That is not a forgivable that's not an excuse. moment. That's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. He's not a, he's not excusing himself. Where where did he excuse himself? I'm saying I'm not going to excuse him for his actions for that. No, I'm saying where do you forgive someone? Where you you can't if the whole thing is turn the other cheek you have to be at cer- at a certain level. Where do you forgive someone? If you come off the bat like, yo, that was my PR team. They were just trying to save my image. I don't really give a fuck about my image. If I'm, he comes out I'm and is like, yo, like, I fucked, I fucked up. up. Like, I get that. Like, nigga, go through your rehabilitation. Like, do whatever you got to do. Like, I'm with that. But at no point am I just going to be like, yo, I got full support for this nigga. Like, I just can't. Because at the end of the day, like... The I, nigga who you are and the nigga you will be are not the same person. That's why I never, I never count somebody completely out from like no, for re- sure. rehabilitating themselves. So like I, I, I will never believe fully in cancel culture because I know people can change. That's but not going to make me feel like always? he's a bad. Per- like if he got, if that's his reasoning, like if he takes full responsibility for what he did, all that, like. I feel you, bro. Like, I'm with that. But, like, for me personally, you're not going to have my support the way that you did before. Fair. To me, trust is like a sheet of paper. Like, you can, once you wrinkle that bitch up, like, you can do whatever the fuck you want, but it's never going to be fully perfect again. I could completely repurpose the paper. Look. It's a metaphor, though. Yeah, like, but I'm it, saying it's a metaphor. Like, if your metaphor, you could find a way to flatten it out again with some hard work. Even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a metaphor. So, 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 if I can flatten it again with hard work, why can't I get back to that stage? Because that's, it's that's not actually a sheet of paper. It's like a sheet of paper. Like, like, but I'm saying we have to be willing to forgive people. That that is my big. We have to be willing that, to forgive people, but you can't forget. Yeah, you. I I never said like, if you forget, can forget. Like, I'm not forgiving mad at you. someone is a isn't about forgetting. It's about letting it be how it was and knowing that it won't it won't happen again. To he's, me, there's nothing to even like from a personal stance. There's nothing even to like forgive because I'm not like to me forgiving is like if I'm harboring so like to me I. See, saying I don't care is bad, like, sounds bad, because, like, obviously, you know, we do care for Megan. Like, yeah. we want her to have a speedy recovery. Of but course. I'm not in a situation where it's like, I hate Tory Lanez. Like, I, like, you know, like, he made a string of bad decisions, even if all of them weren't direct decisions. But at the end of the day, somebody came out of this situation horribly hurt. To an extent, I don't even feel like there's anything for me to personally forgive. Like, I, obviously, we care about Megan. Obviously, like, you know, we want her to do well. Like, she was hurt in this situation. But I don't harbor any hate, any misfortune, any, like, anything for Tory, like, for Tory Lanez, you know, like, Obviously, justice for the situation, like, should happen. Like, he did something bad. Like, obviously, he, there should be repercussions. But, like, I don't feel that things should go any further than just, like, justice for that. You know, like, I don't want to say I'm not forgiving him because, I mean, in my mind, like, he's already forgiven. You know, like, it's not like I harbor anything for him. Yeah. But at the same time, like, a loss of my support is also a piece of the justice. Like, like you know, like I'm not going to just continuously keep bumping this nigga if this is shit that he stands for. Like, I got to see what the fuck, like, if this nigga... Yeah, but th- that goes back to the whole point where I was saying, what if it was just, like, 
anger from the drugs on top of he's inebriated. He can't really he's not really in full control of himself. And he's off two perks. He, he got violent. I can't but I me, can't look at a nigga and be like, I'm holding you accountable for everything you did. It is ah uh, damn. It see, was them damn drugs. And if you can just but to prove me, to me that you're not gonna let some shit like this happen again. To me, that isn't one bad decision, but a string of bad decisions. Well, to you, take the drugs, like yeah. to like all you know, like to me, it's not just lost it, pull out and shot Megan because I was off the drugs. Like to take the like you, know, you have to know, like you have to know what you're getting, your what risk you're taking every single time you do something like that. Yeah, but. At the same time, he, you probably at this, at that moment, you're not thinking about, I'm going to shoot somebody on the way home right now. It's not like, but it's a risk you're taking. That's not the, that's not the risk he's taking. It is. It is. If you're taking drugs that are going to make you not 100% yourself, that is a risk you are choosing to take. Yeah. But I'm saying at the same time, you're going to hold you accountable for all of that and not look at somebody who knows that they fucked up, knows that uh, all of this shit I was not supposed to do. Like, I know that. And I'm going to work to get better. You would look at somebody like that and be like, still can't, still can't bump your shit, though. Like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not bumping your shit. Like, at the end of the day, take your time, like, rehabilitate. No, and, I can't and, fuck with that. And in time, like, yo... I fuck with it. Like in time, you can redeem yourself. But I'm sorry, but you're also going to have to deal with the consequences of your actions. I think you did these things, and you're gonna have to deal with people not being okay with that. Yeah, th- that's okay as long as as long as the people aren't just disliking you for the sa- for the. I don't dislike to it. Y'all no. know I still fuck with like I still fuck with him as a part. Like his music, hard. I fuck with him as an artist, but like. Yeah, I I never got, I know I nigga, in my mind there are niggas who deserve it more right now. Yeah, like I, I can use that time that I would use to stream Tory Lanes and stream somebody who I feel is worthy of my streams because at the time if I'm giving you my support and you're using my support and doing this like look take your time do what you need to do but in the, in this time. You're not getting my support. I'm going to give it to somebody who I feel deserves it and won't do something like this. I'm going to give my support to Thomas. I'm going to give my support to Big Sean. I'm going to give my support to Kill Extra. You know, I'm going to give my support to someone who I feel deserves it right now. Because yeah. right now, I'm sorry, nigga. I don't feel like you deserve it. You took, and I'm not, I know I looked at you when I said it, but I'm not talking to you, Thomas. Yeah. But you don't deserve it. No, I'm playing. But, um, yeah, nigga. Stay yeah, in your right. place. I already know. But at the time, <laughs> like, I don't feel that Tory deserves it. Like, nigga. You pulled out a gun and shot a woman walking away. Sorry, you aren't. You don't deserve my support right now. Coward, you don't. Coward move. You don't deserve my support right now. Yeah. Am, am I saying you'll never get my support again? No. That, if you find a way to redeem yourself in the future, go ahead. But right now, these are the consequences to your actions. Like, look, nigga. I don't know what the fuck the courts are gonna do. Like, I don't. If the courts say you're unguilty, whatever. Me, I'm still not giving you. (laughs) (laughs) I guess unguilty would be if you were guilty and then like they took it back. Not guilty, whatever. That as of right now, like for me, I don't handle the course. That has nothing to do with me. But for me, I don't feel that you deserve it, Mister Lanes. So I'm taking it away from you. I yeah, I respect that. Like nigga, you in timeout? I thought you were saying in the sense of permanent. Ban. We're like pat no no more Tory Lanes past this line. Like uh, like we're done with this nigga. That's what I thought I mean, you were saying. The only nigga that I have I was on like, a permanent ban is fucking R. Kelly, and that nigga had made no no the no same no. Decision. He he yeah. deserves a permanent ban for sure. There is repeated offenses, feeling glorified by his actions, and oh, he feels sure. like a deity. No, nigga, you are a cretin. You are a creep. That is, that is, there's a big difference. You prey on little girls versus you might have, I don't, I don't know what he did. You shot somebody. Like, there's a big difference between. But at the end of the day. Knowing that you did wrong and 
knowing that you're doing wrong and you keep on wallowing in it. No, I agree with that. I R. Think Kelly that got caught how many years ago and he didn't stop until when? He still wouldn't. He still he's still stopped, technically really. still doing it. Like, yeah, like he really still hasn't actually stopped. He still has his chambers somewhere. But at the same, in the same breath, like I'm the type of person where it's like, like Tori, like if you find a way to do it, like, Yo, I feel that, but like right now, like can't fuck with you. I can't fuck with you, bro. Like that was the most bitch shit I've seen in a long time, a long almost time. forever. Outside of R. Kelly, like R. Kelly, the niggas who killed X, Tory Lane shooting Megan. That is, I, Tory that Lane is like, shooting Megan is more bitch shit than that. I don't think it's more bitch That's than what they did bitch, to X. Bro. They killed that nigga over eleven thousand dollars in a bag. That is, that is some whole nigga shit. The, nigga, the shit shot, that happened to Nip, that was some whole nigga shit. Nigga, he shot her over an argument, bro. Like, nigga wasn't even going to Nigga killed Nip it, over not letting him in the crew. I don't know anything about that. Is, that is a I bitch nigga move. That, but. Like, imagine if you were plotting on some... That would be like me coming up to kill you because you didn't let me in on almost. Like, oh, oh my God, nigga, you're not splitting the profit with... Bah! And I just end your life just... Just because I'm sick. Well, no, but I'm gonna have my gun on me, so you won't be able to kill me. Uh, no. Where's no. that? You, you, <laughs> you ain't got it. Yo, you would rather get caught without it. Wait, so you would <laughs> rather get caught without it. Do you believe it. in guns now? What? That's no. your standpoint on guns. In guns now. What? No. You believe? Hey, what? What would have? Ch- nothing changed my mind in the situation. No. I'm this nigga is never. He's never going to buy a gun. If me, somebody, you, and Thomas might pull up to the uh, on the same day. I'm not saying yeah, if like, I'm, I'm not saying that I will never own a gun. I'm I'm telling y'all, I'm smart enough to where I am an I'm an intelligent nigga. Like for some reason guns make motherfuckers not smart, bro. Like guns make motherfuckers feel like they're Superman. I know that I'm Clark Kent, nigga. Like if I'm co- like chill, nigga, I'm gonna use this bitch if I absolutely need to. Other motherfuckers feel like, "Oh, I got a gun. It's go time." No, it's not go time. It, see, you're the type of nigga you're gonna fucking die. I'm sorry, Tom. Wait a minute. Now I have a Floyd card. I'm not trying to get my shit revoked. So let's keep that on the, the chill side. No, no, I feel that you're gonna die though. Like what if a you? nigga pulls up in your house, sorry. Well, you I see, hope a nigga never I, pulls up to your house because if they do, it's curtains. Well, you see, Red I curtains. live by a different code. I don't mind death is not really like a thing to me like no that's niggas, fine yeah if you're I'm if cool you're living by the sword you're prepared to die by the sword that's fine right because you will right yeah but niggas who didn't have a sword died to swords all the time yeah that is all i'm saying like you're you're saying live by the sword die by the sword a lot of niggas died by the sword and did not have one. A lot of niggas died by the sword that didn't have a sword, but I'm the nigga who's smart enough to fucking know no. when I don't belong on the battlefield. No. You don't no. belong on the battlefield. What if somebody's just trying to clip your shit? Like, if a nigga is pulling up in my crib, we've talked about this pot, so I'm going to keep it like Yeah, you, you ran the statistics. No, yada, if a yada, nigga yada. pulls up if in my crib. If a nigga crib, wants your life and you don't have a gun and he has one, he has the upper hand. If a nigga pulls up in my crib, whether there's a gun in my house... Whether there is not a gun in my house, you fucking hide. Let the nigga take your shit. Now, if you open my bedroom door, if you start to get close to me, nigga, if I got one, like, back the fuck up. But I'm not going to hear footsteps in my house and doom, 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 doom. It's go time. I'm looking for this nigga. No, that's some shit that Vic said he'd do. Guess what? Vic gonna have some yellow tape around this nigga, and we gonna be talking about, oh, Lord, what happened? No, we know what happened. Nigga thought he was Mr. Incredible and ended up as Bob Parr. Like, well, you never, right. you never know in those number one, situations. Number one, in your own house, you should know the terrain better than the other Why nigga. Why do people think that that is a valid argument? You don't live in a maze, nigga. You, like, niggas can find you. What the, like. like nigga, I know the, I know angles, nigga. It's not about a maze. Like, like you see, gonna, the, you, gonna, this nigga has no clue what he's talking about so when you it have comes a, to shooting. My bad. You know, you have a boomerang? No, nigga, I have angles. 
Angles are everything. The nigga's coming up the stairs, nigga. I know, I know where I can see the stairs, and that he won't have a clue, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the place. What yeah, are you yeah. talking about? Though, the, if a nigga walked in here right now, and he was walk, he would be walking around this motherfucker like, okay, okay. He starts coming up to the so studio because room. you know I'm that in there's the a back. curve there. You're gonna live, no, nigga. Hide. If a nigga pulls up, now we bust. All right, all right. Now, it's not. Oh shit! I know there's a turn right here. I can get him. No, chill. Let the nigga take the TV if he wants to take the TV. And you see, that's that fine. The thing is, you don't always know what their intentions are. Some people so will just once come they, to kill you. And if now, nigga, once they pull up, if they're getting a room and I got a gun, now, we, right, now it's did, time. Oh, but okay. it's not like let's fucking get him. Like I, he walked in, attack. Oh, re- ready, ready, Tommy. <laughs> no, <laughs> not you. Let, let's run this, not, let's not run this scenario. Like, let's run this scenario. The nigga walks in. Let's say he's aiming to kill. You said hide, hide. He gets to your daughter before you. There goes your daughter, nigga. You're not thinking about that. I'm in. I'm pushing out gladiator style. I I will be the first. Everybody else run. I'm going to fight this nigga. Y- y'all get out. I'm go. It's ones between me and this nigga. I have Ooh. to stand ground while everybody else retreats. That is what is happening. I'm not. I'm never gonna be in my house like. Oh, I'm gonna go fight this nigga. My son is still asleep. No, my son is going to get up. I'm nigga. What you sister? I'm nigga. You gotta go. Y'all gotta go. I'm going. To, I'm grabbing nine and I'm watching the stairs. I'm watching the stairs for this nigga trying to come up. I got the angles. I know my crib better than this nigga knows my crib. So I know where I can see him. I hear him walking. Oh, I know where the creaky steps at, nigga. I know where the, I know this. I know that. I know everything about my house. You run in this motherfucker, you're dying. Like, like I know I'm pretty for sure Thomas could find a spot in his house where he knows he could see where this nigga is about to walk. And he knows where this nigga's like, yeah, I have the upper hand on this nigga. Why the fuck would I not push him? Why would uh, I'm not a coward? I mean, I, I'm going to put my life up on the line so my family can escape. I don't I don't give a fuck about anything else. Yo, that's fine. And I hope for your sake, I hope for your family's sake. I hope for my sake that that never happens because yeah. I'm not trying to lose my nigga, bro. Like, no, no. But you're saying it as if. The nigga who comes in with the gun is always going to have the upper hand on you. That nigga, if I had a gun already, has the upper hand. Nigga got hands. I'm not unless I have to use this option. I'm not going to use this option. What even if you have the upper hand? You know how many times I didn't had the upper hand in the situation and lost. You know how many times that didn't happen. Never, never, (laughs) never, never. No. Nigga, I didn't have the upper hand in a no. lot of situations in my life and still fucking lost. When? Give me an instance. Um, let's yeah, nigga see. has too much ego to look. His I'm brain, to his brain said, me losing. Nigga, never. <laughs> when did uh, I have like a situation know. upper hand in the city? Si- nigga, I didn't surprise <laughs> niggas and lost. Like, <laughs> I don't be fighting. You can't like, think I don't, of one I don't fight like that. Like, no, nigga. If I have the upper hand and it's life or death, nigga, it's, there is no... Nigga, you know no, how many times we've been playing Rocket League? And a nigga done had a wide open goal and fucked up. Everybody on the other side of the fucking court, we blessed. Yo, pass it to me. No, shit, shit is still go wrong. Like, every uh, one variable. All I have to do is still- pass the bullet into this nigga's <laughs> brain. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing too much. I am literally just going to you know, turn the hallway. The nigga instantly, he going. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be a relentless clip getting released. Okay, I'm, Hawkeye, I'm well, fighting. I hope I don't have dies, to be Hawkeye. I hope he dies I on contact. I just directly said that I do not have. To, I am emptying clip in this nigga. I didn't. I'm not aiming. I hope he I'm, dies on contact. Uh, he's not dying on contact. I'm lacing this nigga. Whoa. He's getting hit fifty times. Be careful, bro. That's how they build a case on you. When it happens, you go what to you, jail. What do you life. mean? <laughs> Because you can, you know, still go to jail if they deem it not self defense. It's one hundred percent. If the nigga enters my crib, yeah. it's gonna say on my door: the, the trespassers will be shot, 50s. and and survivors will be killed. Like uh, that, that is what no, that I, is what it's going to say. I got you, but fifty like, shots—they're gonna they're gonna <laughs> give you a case for that one. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be like, I bucked all that shit behind the wall. You can check the cameras, nigga. Okay. I wasn't looking. I was dumping clip. They. Why would you do, nigga? I was the nigga was in my house. I was scared. <laughs> I'll be like, yo, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. Hey like, man, I I'm, pray for you. Yeah, I pray I, I never have never to happened, run into the bro, situation like, where I have to take another man's life. But I definitely think. It is what it is. If a nigga's going to try and take what's mine, I'm going to try and take what the hit, uh, what's his. And I hope that you are the one who wins. Like, yeah. I hope that you are. And I hope that this never happens because me, personally, I don't think you will. And that's why I why? hope that it never happens. Why is that? Why? Because the odds are not in your favor. Why? We, where are they not? Where? Where are they not in my favor? Because you have everything to lose, nigga. He has everything to lose, too. And nigga, I don't a give coin. a fuck about what he We're has to lose. We're both on a coin. Nigga, you can take the TV, but you're not going to take me, nigga. No, you're not going to take me. No, I'm sorry. I'm walking out of this situation. So, so We if, walking out this bitch. So if you're telling me the situation was dire and you could flip the situation and get it to your family has Left to evacuated. They are out of the building. Why they are they gone. gone and I'm not? What like what the fuck is going on here? I'm just like, yo, y'all leave. I'ma stay here. No, just in case that <laughs> wants to kill one. No, guy. no. I, if he wants to kill one nigga, no. I'ma be. It, I'm a volunteer. No, if we can all get no. out, we all out this motherfucker no, together. No, but I'm saying I'm we're in a situation. <laughs> you're getting them out. The nigga starts coming. You either had like it's fight this nigga or just try and turn your back and run the full sprint. I'm ne- I have never in my back Chris, case. I will Chris, never give up Chris, my back to an enemy. Chris, Chris, I will never give up my back to an enemy. Chris, chill out. Listen. I'm never giving my back Chris, up to an enemy. Chris, chill out. No, listen. If the situation happens, once a nigga is there pressing. If my life is in immediate danger, now you die. But I am not looking for a fight. I am not looking to die. I'm trying to father my children. I'm t- I don't to know. Husband a a little wife. part of me is telling me husband that I my wife. I'm slightly looking for that fight. <laughs> so, I there, know. There, there's a I little know bit that. of me that is like, yeah, this nigga th- thought shit was slick. Nah, yeah, nigga. And that's that. why niggas like you don't need guns because niggas Stop. like you. Stop. I'm taking die. that 50 50, nigga. What? <laughs> no, no. Y'all are some type of niggas that will die. Yeah, I'm never. Uh, I'm never gonna be the type of nigga to be like, I'm finna full rush him with this shotgun right now. I would just probably stay up my stairs and be like, nigga, everybody out the crib. I'm leaving now too. Take what you uh, take, whatever. Just don't come up these stairs. I might have to blast your ass. He gonna be like, all right then. Like, nigga gonna be downstairs like, I right, then, I'm not going upstairs. Like, I'm gonna let them know from, the, the, yo, if I hear uh, the first seven stairs are creaky, nigga. <laughs> the first seven stairs, and if I hear you jump, it's definitely on and popping. Yo, like, if a nigga can jump seven stairs, like. He deserves everything in the house. Hell no. If a nigga jump seven hell stairs, no. you can take the flat screen, my nigga, because I can't jump seven stairs. Like, take the flat nigga, screen, fuck my nigga. That. I don't give a fuck if you can jump seven, jump seven stairs out this motherfucker. <laughs> Leave. I'm not. No. I mean, anybody can jump seven stairs and, down. And that like, ruin. We can all jump seven like, down. I feel like that will really ruin the dynamic of any family, though. Yeah, knowing that your father dad died. Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. Knowing that your dad just it. slayed some nigga in the house or if your dad was slain in the house. Either way, you're, you're yeah. going to be like, fuck. The, somebody died in my crib. One thing I learned, too, the deck of cards is really stacked against you if you're trying to use a weapon in your own home. Like, if your child is in the way, or not in the way, if your child is Oh, yeah, is let's wait you, until after the argument to give some stats. Like, what? No, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, don't do it, but, like, you know, what needs to be done needs to be done. There's Nigga, I've, I've been said evacuate the family. Nigga, if you notice know stats, you yell some stats. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it is tough. To get away with that shit and not lose uh, maybe like what sixty thousand si- not sixty thousand sixty thousand plus dollars in like fees to fight these cases that they're going to put on you just because you're a firearm owner trying to defend yourself. You might even I don't know catch a uh, a level four case and then get put on a, a high prison yard because you just shot a firearm in front of your child disarm. Not disarming. Um, 
what's the word? Discharging, Discharging. a firearm, yeah, in front of a, a minor. Minor. Yeah, you, you go to prison for but a I've while seen, for that. But I've seen people way younger than 18 shoot guns. I mean, uh, obviously, that's not like in a, the judicial, uh, judicial American judicial system is not an exact science. Yeah, that shit is stupid. Sometimes you might make it free. Sometimes you might six nine, and some days you might shoddy. Yeah, the, the boy, what beating like, fifty years? Yeah. That nigga was in L.A. Yeah. last week. It happened. <laughs> he was wild. Like that shit. I'm not even gonna lie. Years. I don't fuck with six nine. Like after seeing the uh, the what him, what he called paying respects to Nipsey. What I don't know if that was meant to actually pay respects to Nipsey or if it was meant to be disrespectful. I don't know. Like he was in front of the Nipsey mural playing Nipsey Hustle like just standing there but just his personality and him being previously a um, blood. Yeah, previously uh with the bloods. Like obviously he's no longer a blood. I don't know if he was actually trying to pay respects or if he was trying to do it out of disrespect because he's known to disrespect niggas. I don't know. And it, it leaves I, a bad I taste in my mouth. Nip definitely turned over in his grave. On that yeah, one. no, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I think you, yeah. Like, you went to a real, like, a real hood nigga spot and was like, Man, you die, so you Like, die. if he was actually trying to pay respects, then I what? feel him. Like, I, like, I'm like i glad he did that. Like, But I just don't think that he was. I think that he went there to be a dickhead. I think yeah. a lot of people do a lot of things. And I think that's wildly disrespectful. So it's kind of hard for me to, like... I've been ca- not canceled, but I don't play six nine. I don't enjoy his music, so not really a factor for me. Yeah, no, yeah, I feel that. I don't. I don't really listen. I stopped listening to six nine a while ago. Yeah, no, I, I feel that one hundred percent. Like I just like yo, nigga, fuck as you want, bro. Yep. Yeah, but um, I feel like we covered pretty much anything we got to cover. Anybody got some last words? Uh, Shout out to Joe Biden. Hey, everybody has the right to believe what you can and can't do with a gun. Don't never feel like we should. Conv- I'm never trying to convince everybody that they should own a gun, but I will never tell anybody that they shouldn't. Yeah, no. Look, I'm never on the podcast to tell you what you shouldn't shoot. Yeah. You shouldn't shoot Megan the Stallion. Yeah, um, I, I agree with that. But other don't than that, don't shoot anybody. Yeah, out of out of spite for a conversation. Yeah. Other than that, I'm never here on the podcast to tell people what you should or shouldn't do. I'm here to tell people what I think. Like, if what I think sways you, like, oh, like, that's on you. Like, because I make bad decisions all the time. So I'm not the law. Like, I'm not the book. I'm not the sword that you live and die by. So if I say that I think you should eat a whole pack of Tums, like, that's an inside joke that y'all don't get. But um, if I think you should do some shit and it's a bad idea and you do it, like, that's not really my fault. It's kind of on you. Uh, yeah. So if you choose not to carry a gun and get gunned down, like C two said, it's kind of on you. Uh, if you choose to carry a gun and get gunned down, like I said, it's on you. Like make your own decisions. As far as guns go, just uh, you know, get educated. Before I was uneducated, I wasn't aware of the shit, and there's a lot more shit that you know can be talked about and covered. But I got educated. I understand a lot more. My opinions have It's crazy changed. how you probably have the most knowledge about actual guns and were the most silent during the conversation. Well, it, it, it's interesting seeing, like, the, the banter back and forth because uh, I'm not Hop really, in. Like, You're also a part of the podcast. No, 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 no. Yeah, but it's <laughs> also, like... Keep your toe in the water. <laughs> it's also interesting to see, like, the train roll and, like, one train run into the other train sometimes, like... <laughs> it's fun and, to watch the crash versus a participating yeah, in it. But... As far as uh, as far as guns, you know, just be aware. That's all I have to say. Get get educated about guns for sure. Yeah, but um, ah, oh, fuck, I was saying something before that. Still a hard believer. All ARs should be banned. I mean, live your life, King. Yeah, no, I'm. Just, I just can't. I, no, I definitely feel like you should have the right to carry an AR. For what reason? I'm just fucking with you. Let's, Let's get to that. Fuck. Me sick. I'm like, I can't think of one just logical reason I'm just to have with you. an AR-15 in your Thomas house. Thomas look like you got some. 
What, ARs? You know some reasons to get... You got some ARs? Did we I'm, just put you on the spot? My bad. I'm not getting my shit revoked. You will not hear no violence from me on this podcast anymore. No, no. Anymore. But, but can you, can anymore, you give me one can practical... Can you give me one practical reason to have uh, AR-15? Me? If you can give me one, Hunting. that is... Uh, no. No, it's not a hunting man. rifle. But I you could you one. could buy it. No, I believe we should all we should only have access to semi-automatic rifles. Number one, number two. Like, what what do you need an Uzi for? What does anybody need an Uzi for? To slide on the ops. Uh, that that's not legal. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm like that's to uh, KK with a little Uzi with a Uzi. No, that's I'm pretty sure that's not legal either. Just to collect and have fun with, because you can do that. You said what? You could take it to the range. Ah, you, why can't why can't you just use the one that's at the range? Then they have guns at the range already. Yeah, you don't, you don't need one in, you the, in your crib. It. You could wrap it. You could, okay, cool. You, you could just it. collect it. it. No, hang it on the wall. No, I want bombs, but you, you can't see. I can't get <laughs> bombs. Why so, do you want bombs? I want. I like smoke bombs. I like smoke bombs. I want the big one. You can. You can I, I won't. I won't ever detonate it. I did no. There's no reason I could for for the same reason I can't have a whole nuke. I should not be able to have an AR-15. I mean, you should be able to collect it if you're not going to use no. it. No, I'm just playing no. devil's advocate. I'm fucking with you. No. I don't think you should have an AR in your crib. Yeah, I don't think there's there's no practical reason to any automatic rifle besides like there's no practical MP reason to anything but a pistol in your crib. No, I, I, I think pistol, shotgun, a shotgun hunting is rifle. the worst idea ever. You're taking out whoever's in your crib. You're taking out Lil Johnny. You're taking out T Bone, your dog. Yeah, but I, I feel going. like I feel like when it comes to minimizing damage, I would rather have some. You could do way you're more damage. Maximizing damage. You could do way more shotgun? damage with a pistol. You could do way more damage Than with a, a pistol. shotgun. Yes, as pistol has range. Spread of the shotgun. What? That you're using. You, pistols have range. Shotgun has. What, bur- buck. Spread. Buck. Spread, yeah. Buck shots. Spread. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. But you can't aim a shotgun. Yeah, I'm saying if I shoot a, in a crowd of people, like, I'm just trying to stop, like. I'm talking about in, the, in no, a crowd of people, you taking out way more niggas with a shotty. Nah, with a pistol, you, you, could, have you a could definitely ground. kill. You could kill way more people. You can kill way more people. You're only going to be doing damage to the people in front of you, and anybody who pulls up on you is going to have a pistol and just shoot you. Unless you're, you're, you, they don't even have to get within range. They could just shoot you. If all you have is a shotgun, you you can only take people out from like how how far within. I'm like talking about in feet. the crib. Like what the we we talk about? Like, we just walking out in the street. Just, so niggas? Like, like, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying for preference. For preference in like niggas? protecting your crib, some niggas like shotguns. Some niggas like a shotgun is going to. I, I'm just saying, like, if you want a shotgun, that's big damage. That's, that's the big worst damage. option. That's yeah. big damage. Yeah. That, uh, trust me, like that's I know. like saying I should just keep a bomb at the crib. So if somebody pulls up, like, yeah, no, nigga, that was my whole plan. Stick a C4. Be careful, That's man. The whole crib. Be up. careful. They're going to use this evidence. No, I'm. I'm just saying. Like for the same reason, you should not be. Like I can't own a stick of C4. Why the fuck do I need an Uzi? Like I. Like I don't need an Uzi. I don't need a flex. No, I, nigga. Which one's a bigger flex? A stick of C4 or Uzi? Hmm. If I got a stick of C4, nigga, you definitely gonna look at me different. Nah, niggas are enamored by guns more than bombs. Nigga, a nigga will see the stick of C4 and be like, Whoa. Once you start playing with bombs, you enter a whole new category. Of- yeah, of demon. <laughs> oh, yeah. A demon. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you post a, a bomb demon. on social media, niggas, they gonna be like, Ooh, cool. They're gonna be like, This nigga no. is crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, crazy. Uh... <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> but if a nigga post a gun, niggas would be like, ooh, that's so cool. Where Damn, this it? nigga really got a Uzi. Ah, wait, this nigga has a stick of C4. They're oh going to be God. like, uh, <laughs> They're, they're going to be, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody stop him. they be stop like, yo, uh, I'm going to send you the number to this therapist. Like, yeah. Yo. But I definitely think, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck guns nah, for the yeah, most part. Yeah. You, in Except my opinion, you shouldn't have one. Like, or a hunting rifle. Like, I if you need you one, keep the pistol at the crib. Don't be taken out the crib. Especially if you're a black man. Like, no. It's a poor idea. That's me. It's a poor idea. Poor idea for Mr. Lanes. Like, I mean, that's fine. 
Bro, you get caught with you it. Get caught with it, it was my concealing carry. Wait, 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 wait. With my concealing carry, and oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry my weapon. I might even carry that bitch on my hip, like a, look like a cop. You know, in the holster. That's what concealed me. You no, can't no. just carry it. You like, you can't just have it in the holster. No, I got that's what concealed holster. means. I don't know. Concealed means niggas should not be able to see it on you. Okay, that's cool. I'm wear, I'm always wear one of them jackets. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reach. you you nigga. But oh, you need my wall, bah. <laughs> oh, let me just get my wall. <laughs> I'm empty the clip of this nigga. Well, no, live, I your would never. live your life. Hey, I live never. your life or lose it. I, hey, it's all you. But no, um, I, I, I could never see myself like just full on blasting a nigga. Like, no, nah. I, I talk hot. I definitely don't. <laughs> like, I don't think I'll just go in somebody's life. But I mean, <laughs> no, no AR 15s to each his own. Uh, think we're pre- fuck. I wanted to talk about Kill Wave. Kill Wave was fantastic. Go stream it now. Shh, go stream Kill Wave. That shit was crazy, man. Like, the production shit was like... That shit was straight out of 1999 video games. I Fucking yeah. fantastic. I, I, just, I, I Dude, I got immersed in that bitch to a different level. Like, I be playing video games with my headphones in on that shit, feeling like I'm, like, in a different world, bro. I don't be feeling like I'm here anymore. I definitely don't feel I got diamonds in my teeth I don't feel like a human Yeah no, nah, That shit is different Kill Extra You <laughs> okay. knock that shit out The fucking park Last week I didn't get a chance To listen to the whole the thing lab, I feel like Isaac Newton <laughs> <sighs> That whole shit was hard to me Like It sounds like A studio album That you would hear From your favorite rapper Yeah Like it doesn't sound Like an album I'm that glad he that he's creating His own sound though Yeah, yeah it doesn't feel like He rappers. created that Like on his own Like it feels like he made that album in like a you can't like a you label can't even like I can't right. compare him to anybody else. Yeah, he has his own sound. I agree, one hundred percent. What do you think, Millie? Fuck with the uh, Kill Extra. I do want to uh, play him in video games to his music, preferably, and uh, beat him to his own music. That sounds fun. Interesting. Hey, right. to each his own, man. Uh, fun times. Uh, Flex Dantalo by Starchild Dan dropped. Didn't get a chance to listen to it yet. I'll give you guys a review next week. Uh, looking forward to it. To You've it. heard. You mixed all of it, right? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. What do you think? You've heard all of the songs, so what do you think? I enjoy all the songs. What you rate it? Uh, zero through ten. That is an interesting question. I'll bring that with his review next week. All right. Kill Wave. Zero through ten. Kill Wave. Honest Opinions. Honest opinions. Let me listen to it again. Nigga, just key. rate it. God I, damn I, it. But I don't, I don't, Bro, I can't just rate formulate it. an opinion. Just give it a it. nine. I'm going to give it a nine. A nine, Vic? Seven. Seven? I'm going to go with Chris on a nine. Yeah, he did his thing on this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm going to get mm-hmm. it. And like, I'm not talking like a nine for like just niggas we know. Like, that's actually like. A solid yeah. nine. Like I, I really fucked with that album. Yeah. Like he, he. I would like say I'm rating him on the like, big boy scale. Right he now. only had like two songs that I would ever skip. Keep it a hundred. Wasn't crazy about HDMI, and I wasn't and crazy about self reflections. See, the he bars, bars on self reflections. He had were bars, hard. but it was just the delivery was off for me. Yeah, I don't know. The beat wasn't my favorite beat on the tape. Yeah. I didn't even have a problem with the beat. I, I didn't was, have a problem with it. I was just struggling with his delivery on that one. And I was like, ah, oh, that that one's kind of struggling. HDMI really didn't just catch my ear. Yes, yeah, those were the I two don't I dislike I HDMI is just not my like see the two songs that I don't aren't my favorite aren't even bad songs. They're just not songs that I would listen to a billion times over again. Me, I've been listening to What are uh, your two least favorite? Those are my two. Oh, it's, it's self reflection. Self reflection to HDMI. How does HDMI go again? Um, it's the one. It has didn't. a feature. He's doing a little bit more uh, singing. Singing. It's good. I like it, but it's just not my shit. Like I wouldn't tell someone else not to listen to. Like there's some songs that are bad songs. It's a good song. It's just not my shit. DDR. I play that bitch all day. I had been playing that. At bitch first, all day, I, I got DDR and HDMI sw- switched up. DDR's and I was. Shit. I told him I didn't like DDR. He's like, "Yeah, you can lead his conversation." Like, yeah, no, we were down. texting, and I asked. I was <laughs> like, "I was like, I asked him if you feel there are any skips on the album." He said two. I asked him which ones. He said 
HDMI and DDR, and I was like, yeah, I'm pretty much done talking to you because no, I said uh, I said shit. self-reflection in a in DDR. Oh, for a second, I thought you texted extra and asked him, are there any skips on the album? No, I, I texted Chris. Yeah, no, he texted me and was like, is there any skips? And I was like, eh. I was like, it's, I was like, probably self-reflection in, what is it, DDR? And I typed it as a second message, like, under it. He was like, nah, nigga, like, stop talking. And I was like, what? And then I played DDR, and I was like, oh, no, this shit is hard. That D- DDR is probably my favorite. Right after that, it's probably Bloody Paradise. Right after that, 100,000 Zenny, Destructo Disc, and then... uh. Nomadic Dreams. I think I Destructo Disc is probably my most played. Yeah, Destructo Disc. And what is disc. is it? Bloody Paradise. I could have sworn it's Double Glock on me. Uh, yeah, no, no, nice. but but that I don't feel like that's the name of it. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Bloody Palace. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Bloody Palace. My it's bad. Bloody Palace. Because I had to think about it. I was like. Diamonds Double in my teeth, Aurora Borealis. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Diamonds shine on Aurora Borealis." Y'all really <laughs> extraologists. Y'all know all about. No, that. no, bro, I've been like, listening. Like, like, bro, normally when a new it? tape drops, that's really fire. Like, that just takes my main spot for the week, yeah. or even until some better shit comes out. I'm gonna be bumping this until some better shit comes out. Yeah, or until some like it's, I get tired of it. Like, until like something compared, because right now. Shit hard. Sometimes you know when you want to hear a song, and a song is just like it's cranking. Like my music was getting, it was getting like eh, I have to find more. I'm hitting the other playlist on my shit, just uh, trying to find some new songs, some new bops. And then it was like extra dropped. I was like, oh, let me go hear this, and it was all gas, nigga. <laughs> that shit's gonna end up Hell at the top yeah. of my playlist. So it's gonna be like shit that I'm clicking on this. I, as soon as I get on Spotify, I start playing music. Yeah. So it's like, boom, I just get on and I play whatever I was playing last. And sometimes, like, if Double I play something last, me, it'll uh, it'll get set kind of on repeat. Yeah. Interesting. Shout out to who the fuck is John, too. He, uh, he Shout was on that to bitch, him. too. Shout out to John. Waiting on John to drop some more music. Oh. Cause I'm fucking with Vision. Yeah. yeah right fucking here with John. John. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need John to drop some more shit because, yeah, for sure. But, um... Yeah, go listen to that Kill Wave. If you have not listened to it yet, go listen to that uh, Flex Dantalo. I'm going to check that shit out tomorrow. I'll give you guys an update. Um, oh, listen to Phantom Zone, by the way. Phantom Zone by... Flex 10. On Hold on, Flex. you got a feature? No, no, I'm not on Oh, it. you just really like it? Yeah. Okay. Are you on any songs of Flex Dantalo? No, I'm not on... He Nobody's... Well, no, there's one person. Damn, I thought you was on that. Bitch. No, I'm not. No. Damn. Oh, that kind of just made me sad. The kill, Still the listen kill. to it. It's good. No, psh, nigga. Of course <laughs> I'm going to listen to it. Star Child the Goat. That's my nigga. So listen to that shit for sure. Goated. Extras goated. We're going to play this bitch out to... um, Fuck. What was that shit called? It was not either of them. I had a song last week that I was going to play, but that extra shit went too fucking hard, and I had to, I had to replace it. Um, where the fuck is that bitch at? Okay, I can't find it, so I'm not gonna say the name right now. But we're gonna be playing out to this. Um, shout out to Kamala Harris being the first black woman to be on the big ticket. All that Ooh, shit, we <laughs> making it. Hey, you, you know the vibes. Raise the bar, nigga. Hey, that shit we lit, are. man. It is. I, I'm I'm hyped. Still not a Biden fan. Keep it hundred with y'all, but in agreement, we do what we have to. We do what we have to. But. Thank y'all for listening. It's been a fun ass episode. Um, carry a gun if you want to. Don't carry a gun. Shout out YDN oh, Corday for switching his name. Don't shoot Megan no, the Stallion. No shot. Shout no Corday. No shout. Shout out Megan the Stallion. You shout out Megan the Stallion. We real love true. you. We love everybody who listened. Catch us next week. Hey baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove? Yeah. Hey baby, when you bust the move. Would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey, baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey, baby, when Good you bust the move, to would you let a little nigga this come catch DJ the groove, Calvary's uh? Hey, baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey, baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey, baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey, baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey, baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove, uh? Hey baby, when you bust the move, would you let a little nigga come catch the groove? Or would you go so far for a bump and grind?
real shit Said it at the wrong time, bring the fuck light Getting a little ahead of myself, nice to meet you, pretty lady, I'm dead Rollin' with the fam, but it ain't nothing if you want a little privacy I'm just putting it out there, I'm loving that swing J-Lo in the hips and the waist shit got me going crazy And I see your flex with the nails and the hair and the magic got me saying, ooh, baby Just go.